Yo. Yo. What's up, everybody? You know, we've only got one of the biggest matches of Total War Cup 2022. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Uh, subjective. Subjective? Come on, this is one of the biggest matches of the tournament. It's got to be. It's got to be one of the biggest matches. What's up, chat? Welcome back to Total World Cup 2022. Hope you all have a good day, because we have... <laughs> we have the big rematch. The big, big rematch. Alright. Spool versus UCK, alright? Do, do I even need to explain this? I don't think this needs explaining. But, you know, maybe we should, alright? This really is the... S I'm seeing something in chat. The super heavyweight match. This is the super heavyweight match, for sure. It's like beyond super heavyweight. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up, TSG? How you doing? Uh... I'm... Coping, I don't know. Fucking... I'm doing alright enough. Hey, you're doing alright. Look, this is PCB Lunatic Scoring. One of the greatest scoring ca categories out there, alright? Yeah. Wouldn't it's, you say uh, that? It's, um, it's, yeah, it's fairly iconic. Absolutely iconic category. Like, am, I, uh, am, I hearing, am I hearing our third commentator in the background? Yes, yes, hello. Yo, what's up, Mino? How are you doing? I'm doing really good. I am still letting the energy drink circulate my system, so... Did you drink an energy drink before this? Yes, yes. Is that, is that the Hurai Elixir? Is that what it is? Yes, yes, <laughs> Brilliant. But dude, this, this match, alright, we had it last year, okay? Spool managed to clinch it last year, but look, this this can go either way. This is gonna be, this is a clash of titans right here. What, once again, two years in a row. Okay. Do we even oh. like? Should we just like briefly explain who these players are, just for anybody that doesn't know? Right. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Start with Spo because uh, everyone knows Yusuke already. <laughs> well, some people um, don't know Yusuke. Uh, anyway, it's Spo. Yeah, it's um, or SPC or Spots, whatever. Um, he's um, he. I don't know when he picked up this game, but he's been playing this game and this game exclusively for quite a while. Like his. Uh, his PND page goes all the way back to 2018, I think. Yeah, he's been playing this game for a while, for sure. And, you know, his his efforts in this game has really gotten him quite the quite the name on, like, uh, both in the West and in uh, Japan. Yeah, the because... SPO, if you know PCB scoring, SPO was a name you know, for sure. He is married to this game. Hmm. I, I would say, I would, no, I would, well, like, maybe that is, because Yusuke has played other games, you know? The, th the thing about Spill is, like, his effort has basically, at this point, landed him as, uh, as the, sec the second best player in the entire world, second only to Yusuke. And Yusuke, well, Yusuke has quite the reputation, absolutely a contender for one of the best players of all- for best player of all time in Dole. So, um, Yusuke is someone who used to actually play, uh, Phantasm a lot back in the day, like 2012, 2013 as such, and then he switched over to Lunatic, and he is the current overall record holder for Perfect Cherry Blossom, as most people know. He's been playing for, like, a decade or more so he has a lot of experience he has done a lot of really really high quality runs um is, i think so, high quality is honestly an understatement it's I honestly mean, yeah. exceptional I want, I want, I quality runs to, i do also want to briefly discuss their scores uh that there's there's like two main shots in this game and uh, those are Rainbow B and Sakia B. With Sakia B, Yusuke has 4 billion, Spo has 3.7 ish billion. 
and there's only one other player who is in the 3.7 billion tier. Um, as for as for Rayma B, Spo has like 3.49, and Yusuke has um, like 3.64. Yeah, and it was only SPO only got that 3.49 yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so you, I think I think SPO's warmed up for this match. What do you think? Uh, I'd say so. I, I would Although say so. He, he, might, he may also spend he, he may also spend an hour practicing again. Yeah, because we should mention this. This was a very unu. Uh, how do I say it? Spoke had a very unusual strategy last year, didn't he? Which was to spend the first twenty minutes practicing. So we may we may see that again. So don't be alarmed if you see that again. This time, but. It definitely worked for him because that took him to the win last year, and you know it was Sakio B match last year. Both players played Sakio B last year. Are we going to see a Raymu B match this year? I'm pretty sure they're both playing Raymu B, from yeah. what I understand, my, my... because both of them mm. have been practicing Raymu B. Yeah, my gut is feeling Raymu B this time round, which is the other yes. as that yes, is, that, is, that yeah. is a very likely scenario, although. Spo has memed uh, in the lead up to this match that he would play Marissa. Really? Wait, I didn't know this. Wait, did he actually say that? Yeah, he, he he's been memeing about it for the past two weeks slash months. Mm -hmm. Although in practice, what he's been playing is Ray would be recently. Yeah, but, so I mean, we could it see it. Way. It could go either way, honestly. I think it depends on how he feels right now. Maybe. Maybe it will depend on how how he feels in pre-match practice. All I will say is this: this match is probably going to be full of surprises. Oh, you yes. cannot predict at all what will happen. Like there are so many possibilities. Problem. This is going to be a really intense match. And although TWC is the type of event where you'd want to play it a bit safe, these two players are also very good, so they might actually pressure each other to play more risky. Like that's the type of environment that we're in. Yes, and. Like, like I said, Yusuke became one of the greatest Toho players of all time, by a long way. Well, Yusuke is going to be putting the pressure on, for sure, <laughs> in this match. I, I, I'm honestly so looking forward to this. I really am. One of the best, right? Dude, Alice is here, all right. She's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna have fun in stage three, all right. We have one minute to go until this match begins, chat. One minute to go, okay. And oh, we are in there. Look at this. Look at this. We're here. There is Spo and Yusuke, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spo obviously practicing. Uh. <laughs> A little kind of insane grace strat on uh, mm -hmm. Yomu's on mid spell. Yeah, the insane grace trap. This is the kind of strategies that we're going to be seeing. Yeah. Oh, and there's the Yusuke midi. Yusuke with a signature midi OST that he uses all the time and has for years. So you're gonna get this, you're gonna get the real PCB scoring experience, Chad. I mean, I mean, in, actually, in the in the vod of this, like um, Rainbow B world record from back in 2015, he actually had a bad. Really? That's that's a surprise. He's played on MIDI for so long at this point. Uh, I think I think he just kind of started it in like 2020. He he. I feel he like it happened before that. Oh, nope, we're live. Spain. We're going. I think he yeah, I think he did the Seho soundtrack for a while, and, and before he switched to MIDI. So then, this has a lot, has a lot, there's a lot to this game, isn't there, Mino? Why don't, let me yes. start, why don't we start explaining what's going on here, and what our players are going to be trying to do. <laughs> Alright, so what our players are going to be trying to do is Bo is going to keep practicing for another hour. <laughs> well, that seems we, to be his we, signature we, we strategy. Have... We do have a long time over here. We have 140 minutes, so we have a lot of time to talk. Yes, this is the... We have a lot of time to discuss all the strategies and all the specifics. Mm. We can all just relax, enjoy the ride, because yeah. this is going to be a long and wild ride. 
This is our longest this match, I should make mention, and yes. def we definitely need the time for this match, alright? Yes, PCB is a game that takes its time. It is a very slow, but um, beautiful game. <laughs> it's a okay. slow, but beautiful game. So, and the first thing, I, am, I, need, to, I need to see Yusuke's frost columns, alright? Okay, I'll let you do the frost right, columns okay, come thing. <laughs> alright, how much is he gonna get? Let's see. He's waiting for it. He's, he's waiting. Hold on, what's he doing? Right, there you go. Right, let's go. There we go. Right, this will be the frost columns. This will set the benchmark. All right. All right, 13k, 13.5k. All right, then that's good. Okay, then. So we're sorry to do things out of order here because this thing comes along so quickly. Uh, it's so fine. let's let's actually talk about this now. What is yes. PCB Olympics going? What are the players trying to do here? Okay, so if we're going to talk about PCB, we need to get into all the basics and go from there. Yes. This is a point item value based game, which is like most of the other Toho games. This means that for most of the early game, the players will be focused on increasing that value in order to get maximum cash-ins later on. These cash-ins will come in the form of point items, spell card bonuses, and border bonuses, which are all things we'll get into in due time. The point item value in this game is called the Cherry Max value, which is the value that you can see on the bottom left of the screen. It is the one on the bottom and then on the right, like the right of the slash. Um, so how do you raise your Cherry Max? You need to use this game system, which are the supernatural borders that you have seen the players get so far in the stream. And to get one of these borders, you need to raise your Cherry Plus value. Now, have a look at the pink value in the bottom left of the screen with the plus symbol next to it. So that if I may interject the here, the players have helpfully blown up these three numbers and just to go on the right side of the screen here, just a little bit bigger for easier to see. But yeah, oh, yeah raising yeah. that cherry plus, get once you get that cherry plus to 50k, you get what's called a supernatural border. Mm -hmm. And during these borders, there are many thing. There are many properties to it. The first one is that your character will start auto collecting point items, which is just very convenient in general. But the most important thing is that this is how you will raise your point item value, which we'll be calling the oh. cherry max value. Um, so if you time this border down, if you don't get hit or break it or anything like that, you'll get a free ten thousand cherry max. But the meat of this is the grazing. So this game, um, if you graze during those borders, you will get cherry max depending on how much you graze. And the value is also dependent on whether you are unfocused or focused. So it is a risk reward system. So what we'll be seeing for this entire stream is that the players will be grazing unfocused as much as possible during their borders to maximize the amount of point item value that they could get. And that's the basics of the border system. Um, Oh, and then the um, the little pink items on screen will also raise your cherry plus, which I mean we should just talk about how you get cherry plus in general, actually. Yeah, because there's um, a few there's a few different ways to do it. So the first thing you can see, and you'll see it on your screen right now, is shooting enemies. So you can see you shooting Cerno, and the cherry plus meter is going up. But there's another way. And what does that mean, though? Oh, um. Hmm. So, like, the ways you get Cherry Plus are um, you collect those pink items and you also shoot at enemies and bosses. So, um, when you are shooting at enemies, um, you will only get Cherry Plus if you're shooting at them unfocused. Um, you won't get any Cherry Plus if you shoot stage enemies while focused. This is actually very important for some sections in the game because there are moments um, this is most relevant in Stage 2 um, where you want to hold your border to a certain point. Because um, timing your borders during certain sections to get um, super grazes is the name of the game here. Um, anyway, so um, if you're shooting at bosses, you will still get cherry plus if you shoot at bosses focused. However, the number of cherry plus that you get is significantly increased if you're shooting at them while unfocused. So what you'll often see, and you can actually... Um, you'll see this a lot, is that the players will... Um, try not to shoot while focused on the bosses. So they will stop shooting and make a hard dodge while focusing, and then they will unfocus again and start shooting. It's like a PCB exclusive um, 
gimmick that you have to get used to when you play this game because you just want to optimize the Cherry Plus gains. Um, and then the final way to get Cherry Plus is through these star items. So this game actually has a bit of similarity to EOSD with the star items. Not, I mean, you do get score for them, but um, in this game specifically, um, the star items are used mostly for filling up that Cherry Plus gauge. So when you cancel boss attacks and when you are bombing, you will get um, those star items and they will fill up that cherry plus meter. Um, and one thing to note is that um, just like EOSD, um, after your bomb duration ends, the value you get from the star items will increase drastically. So you'll see players like going into the corner and like moving away. It's the same thing that you saw in that EOSD scoring match from the other day. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all the ways I could think of that I to get cherry plus unless way. I missed something. Yeah. That seems to be the way. So that's that's the gist of it. So we're gonna be getting as much cherry plus as we can to get as many borders as we can. And we're gonna be grazing during those borders as much as possible. To raise our cherry max and get more points. So there's also another reason why you'd want to get a lots of borders. There's another right, reason, no. because more, more than just grazing, because if you let those borders time out, if you let those yeah, borders time um, out, right, you get... Mino mentioned it uh, earlier, but... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, go on, James. You, 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 you get the border bonus. Um, basically what that is, is it's a flat score bonus. Or Okay, no, it's not flat. It's like, it's worth 10 times whatever your current cherry is. So that becomes very important later in the game. Uh... But then the other thing is, if you time them out, you also gain a flat 10,000 cherry and cherry max. And that, and that's why you just want as many borders as you can. Just get as many borders as you can through the entire run. And yeah. both players will have right with this game out specifically just to get borders. And you just keep going with the crazy grazes already. The, th the thing about maximizing borders, though, is that... If you maximize, if you truly maximize the amount of borders you get, then it's actually worth less. Um, what what you really want is you want to basically optimize it. Like the, the route is optimized in such a way that um, you get as many borders as you can, but but like some of those borders are also in fairly crucial uh, spots during the run. Yeah, there's a few use crucial spots. Stage four. There's loads of spots in stage 4 where you want your border route to be exactly on point. It used to get with yeah. a really strong start, by the way. Yeah. 82,000. Yeah, very strong. Mino, you, know, you want to say something? Oh, um, I was yeah. just going to talk yeah, a bit about... I think now is we can start talking about what the actual route is. Um, yeah, let's we talk kind of about... Over the system. Let's talk about the route, because the route is... Um, there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of things you can do with the route, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, something something to note is, you know, because because you want your because you want your borders at at very crucial spots most of the time, um, you really want to uh, control your cherry plus, and that's what Yusuke has done here. He entered stage two with twenty-seven thousand, and that allows him to set it up to get a border right here. Yeah, where all these green bullets are here to graze. And, there's a and you bit may after have two. noticed that um, before he actually got the border, he shot the fairies on the right, POC'd, but he did not POC the fairies that on the left. Like he killed those enemies and let those items fall down the screen, so that the cherry items would uh, he could collect those and start his border. Um, yeah. Oh, um, funny little quirk about Chen is that um, those little bubbles that you see on the background actually will drop cherry items, so there is a bit of timing on when you want to kill them or not. It's kind of cool, but yeah. it's something yeah. relevant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those allow him to get a, another board here and uh, be oh. a mad lad. I can't believe Sul already finished a run, by the way. He was in practice. <laughs> he was doing stage 6 practice. Like, it's fine. We still got over two hours. To yeah, go, we, so. we'll we'll see we'll see some finished runs here for sure. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll let you go on with what you were saying. Okay, so this is a good time to bring up the whole like, you know, managing your cherry thing because um, 
The next border needs to happen at a specific time at the end of the stage because there is a super grace coming up, which means um, you would think, oh, let's just collect all the items. Well, not particularly. Um, what Yusuke is doing right now is hardcore cherry plus management to make sure that um, he can get the border where it needs to be got, right which here. is about right now. Um, this looks super scary, but all of those bullets are just aimed around you on Lunatic, so you can just sit still. And then these are aimed at you, so you can just sidestep. This is a very elementary grace to do, but it is worth a lot. It looks really cool, and um, yeah, it's very profitable. It's very profitable. You're going you're gonna to see SPO do that as well when he gets something, into real something, something to note. Something to note is that those bullets are aimed around you on every difficulty except easy mode. Wait, except easy mode? Is that it? Yeah. Chain actually trying to kill you on easy mode? What's going on here? <laughs> I mean fairies, but yeah. The fairies, yeah. Can't believe easy mode is the hardest mode. So right, we're going to chain here. So there's a few there's a few things we can do on chain, isn't there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a so a safer route would just activate one border on chain and like basically no missile no bomber. However, these two players are higher level than that, so yeah, they will but go they're for not, a we're not, they're not playing safe they will, here. They will go for a type of two-border chen. Um, there's two types of two-border chen, and these two are obviously going for the harder uh, but more profitable version. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the, fir the first border, you, you bomb the first non, and then you can activate the first border on the first spell, of course, eventually. There it is, obviously, yeah. he stopped, obviously he stopped shooting when the border is active because um, the enemy's health bar can be seen as a resource in and of itself. Um, what the enemy's health bar is basically how much uh, C plus you can you have left to milk from them, and obviously during a border you don't gain any cherry plus so. If you shoot, if you shoot during a border, you're basically wasting health bar. Yeah, you're wasting it. Um, yeah, there's like one exception, but we'll talk about that way later on. Yeah, it's way later on. But not um, majority of the time, you don't want to be shooting during a border, else you're just throwing score away. Um. Oh yeah, another thing, um, which we might see. Maybe we might see it. Uh. I guess in I guess in the meantime. Mm, yeah, uh, not yet. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Got to go all excited. I got all excited, and then there's nothing. It's like, oh no. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, this yeah, spell. See, yeah. This is the this is the more profitable version of two border gem. Yeah. Right. And it's also kind of kind of difficult. Mm, it's very nice. Very nice. So yeah, this case. spell is very complicated, and from what I understand, the strategy involves like following bullets and using like specific cues in order to rush to that spot on Chen. There's SPO degrees. and to run right away, um, let's go. Here's a little thing that you might not realize, is that Chen actually has a laser following her when she dashes across the screen, and that laser is something that you want to graze. Mm -hmm. um, and you can actually see it if you look hard enough. There's yeah, like it's, a... it's kind of obscure, but it's, it is there and you want to see it. So with only 40 minutes of practice, 5 minutes earlier than last year? Let's go. Five more minutes of SPO action. I mean, SPO won last year. We, oh. we, they could see it. Let's there's, see. Um, there's also something I want to bring up about um, yeah, Cherry Max and Point and Value in general, and why it's actually really worth it to get that extra border. It might, mm, like, because um, if you think about it, um, the earlier you get Cherry Max or Point Item Value in general, the more power it can have, because there's more of the game for it to take an effect. So. Um, Getting more Cherry Max earlier on in the game, that Cherry Max actually contributes a much more than it seems on the surface, even if it's just like 10k extra. Yeah. Uh, you also. I should I should probably talk about um, the difference between the safer and the riskier two border chain routes. Well, I, uh, well, hold on, we're gonna be, we're going to stage three here. Stage three here is where we start to see some really cool grazers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can I can I can talk about that in tandem. So yeah. um, with uh, with the safer ver the safer version, you activate the border on the second non. 
and that lets you basically focus shoot through all of Kingdom Tonko, almost all of it. But with the riskier version that activates it on the spell, um, then you have to unfocus Kimon Tonko. Mm -hmm. So yeah, stage three, stage three grazing. There's a good reason why. There's a good reason why. Stage three grazing, right? Here we go. Yeah. So it's to um, activate this border. Yeah. And this is every only the beginning. Mm -hmm. So every single beginning. Ellis, um, every single Ellis mid boss non has. Um, a bit of a super grace strat to it, so there was the first one there, is like the spinning thing. Yeah, but there's like these weird lanes that the blue bullets make, and you can just go in them, and go in them and graze them if you're good enough. So what I'm curious about, and mm -hmm. Yusuke will probably do it, but um, yeah, he'll probably on um, the on the second mid boss Alice, um, I'll just bring it up when she appears. Yeah, here she is. So, so. the there's the super grace on this one as well. Um, it's a memorization based. Um, these waves get denser over time, so it's actually more optimal to hold your border to a later part of the non. Most people don't do that, but Yusuke does. Um, it's more optimal, and it looks like he is going for it. Yeah, he's he's going to start his border right later here. so that he can yeah. maximize. Um, yeah, this milk is harder to do um, the later you start your border because there's just more bullets. It's a lot tighter and a lot stricter. But who Yusuke can handle yeah. it? Yes. We all know Yusuke can handle it. We all spoke and handle it as well. This is going to be, like I said, this is going to be a really cool match. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a different version, but, yeah. Alright, so this spell is a bit annoying, but it's also fun at the same time, if you can believe it. So, Alice has a um, gimmick to her. And that she... Oh, no. So, Alice has a gimmick to her boss fight where she uses these dolls, and the dolls are really useful in this game because you can shoot them down and get coin items and uh, cherry items. So there will be a lot of milking like this. You'll see a milk like this on Alice's actual boss fight later on. So um, the name of the game on this spell is just shooting down the dolls, POCing, um, trying not to die to the randomness. This spell is a lot harder than it looks, or maybe it looks hard. I mean, it does look hard. Um, no, those lasers, by the way, um, they can bug out and they can just like kill you instantly, even like without spawning. It's like a, a rare glitch that can happen, but yeah, please, it happens. Please no laser, I, please no laser death glitch on this yeah. match. That, that would be good. Because generally, generally you don't want to die. There is some room for error, but generally you don't want to die in this game. You want to finish so, with um, high resources because the clear ones at the end is quite there, high. There is a um, there is a planned suicide coming up, yeah. a planned death. Um, and that's something I want to bring up as well. Is that um, using full power clears to get cherry plus is a thing in this game, which you will see right now. Those um, power items mm -hmm. on screen are going to transform into cherry items when you get the full power clear. So um, that's just a very useful thing, useful mechanic in this game. And again, it's a game, it's another thing which you use to get more borders. And the thing is, you have to remember, even though you're not grazing, even if you get a border where you don't really graze a particularly high amount of bullets, it's still going to give you 10k cherry max at the end of it if you don't break it. So just getting it on its own is worth it. Alright, so... So, so about, the, about the resource routes, um, ob obviously um, the clear bonus is worth a lot, and... Um, for that, you obviously want max lives because one life is 30 million in the clear bonus on Lunatic. However, um, max lives is 8, and you actually get more than 8 lives in this game. In, in specific, during the score run, you get you get 13 lives in total. So, obviously, what they're going to do with those lives is um, actually use them for um, uh, certain cherry gains and bomb restocks. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're about to see a trick here. Um, so um, Yusuke is going to time the next border as such so that he can use the iframes to get into a little safe spot. Well, Excellent. more like dangerous oh, yeah. spot. It's really risky, but um, it is um, very learnable if you're experienced, and it gets like it's nice, about... like 100 grays or so. I can get you about like a few, a few K. Uh, like I think good ones are about 9K, try man. You get over? Uh, it's like 10k. 9 to, 9 to 10k is an average one. A good one would be like 12 to 14k. Really? Okay, wow. Yeah. 
Alright, is Yusuke is gonna do it? <laughs> is he gonna do it? I hope he does. I hope he does. Will he do the thing? Will he do the Will thing? Do Please do the thing, Yusuke. Uh, how do we even explain the thingy? I think if it we happens. just watch for it and see. Yeah. It's kinda hard to put into words. I, th it? I think that's for timing. I don't think he's going for it. Nah, he's not going for it. Okay. So Yusuke. Wait, he is! Oh he, my god! Okay, yeah. Yusuke! Yusuke, it, please. Please, Yusuke, what are you doing? That that's the thing. <laughs> I did not yeah, expect yeah. him to go for it until uh, World okay, Cup, but so here we the are. Reason, right, go the on. reason why Yusuke is able to do that is because um, when you finish a border in this game, there are a few iframes of invincibility, which is actually very relevant in scoring, and um, it basically allows you to skip out of like a wall. So Yusuke was able to go into that very dangerous cove, if you will, graze a bunch of bullets, get the iframes, escape, and then go back down. Yeah, you saw the player. You saw the players use it in stage two as well. I don't remember how. I don't remember how much uh, that safe spot is worth. I think it's maybe like eighty or ninety grays on that, which is a lot because that's uh, yeah. like seven or eight thousand right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should mention for every unfocused bullet you graze through your body, you gain eighty cherry max. So if you do the math, it definitely works out. Mm -hmm. And it's thirty if you're focused. Yeah, it's 30 to focus. That's an intentional uh, death. Oh, died. Wait, that's not an intentional death. No, what the fuck? No. No, he, that's not. He that's just, absolutely he just lost not intentional. <laughs> yeah. He lost a spell bonus. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm losing no, the spell also, cap too. There's also another loss as well, but it's not as visible, but we might see it in a different run. Um, You can do the same thing you did on the first non, where you like go into like the little safe spot, but this time around you use it using the death wave iframes, but Yusuke can't do that, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. I should probably talk about dying and bombing and such. Um, yeah, let's do that. Like, okay, so first of all, you if you die, you may like if you die too much, you lose lives for the clear bonus, which is obviously very bad. I mean, it's thirty million per life. Yeah, I don't want uh, to throw it out of there. With with the typical amount of item collection in a score run, you have five lives of safety. Um. And by that I mean they are lives for safety because they will they will die intentionally five times during the run mm -hmm. because uh, optimal routes. Uh, but then if but then also there's another dimension to it. Uh, if dying drops your uh, cherry by a static one hundred thousand as Rayma, and bombing also drops your cherry by some amount depending on how much cherry you have. So. Either dying or bombing actually loses PIV, so what the players are gonna do, or rather what the players want, is only bomb when it's absolutely necessary, and preferably avoid it at any other- Oh! Mm, Yusuke! Mm. Mm. Yusuke having a rough he's stage lost. 3. Okay, okay, he's he's lost uh, two spell bonuses now. Wait, how is Yusuke gonna get the stage 4 borders? I think it's the yeah, reset, Yeah, he's not, right? he's out, yeah. yep. That's the reset. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dead spell right. Bonuses, spell bonuses for stage four. Oh, are can nasty. I interject? Hmm? Sorry, I want to interject. Um, it just because it was just. Um, okay, so um, player, you might have realized that like Yusuke went to the replay screen and started a replay before starting a run. Um, that's done in order to manipulate the item RNG on stage one to make it more smooth. Yeah. It's the same thing that the EOSD players did. Yeah. Uh, so, spell bonuses, um, you know, you know the pink items, those are called cherry items, um, at the start of the game they are worth 1,000 cherry, and, you know, cherry plus, obviously, um, uh, cherry and cherry plus, um, always race in parallel, they, they are, they, they are raised at the same time, at the same rate. Uh, it's just that uh, when cherries. All right. Um, Spo is doing the alternate route, the the safer route. Um, that was pointed out on um, Alice uh, none. Yeah. So, um, the the thing about the special thing about cherry items is that uh, for every spell card you capture in the game, um, that's what we call spell bonuses. The value of them are raised by one hundred. So, if you capture every single spell into stage 4, they are actually worth 2200, and that can be very crucial for the run. 
Like, uh, usually with Reimu, at bare minimum, you, you want... You get the exact okay. same frost columns twice in a row. It's very close. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, capping yeah. spells is very important in this game. Yeah, capping spells are super important. They can really determine what you're what you're gonna do. Especially in especially in the later game. Yeah. Especially especially for like the routes that these two are going for. Oh, they yeah. they really want to capture every single spell. They Otherwise really do. losing one spell is okay, but it's just makes the route significantly harder, and losing two spells makes it impossible. Alright, SPO is approaching Alice. And we're gonna see, I think we'll see SPO pretty much go for all the same things Yusuke went for. Doesn't yes. suicide slightly earlier, but that's fine. No big deal. Actually, actually suicide when there were more fairies on the screen, mm -hmm. so that he could get more cherry. Yeah. At the at the cost of a few power point items. Did sale music? Oh yeah, that, that's a, that's another dimension to dying. Um, mm. Yeah, that is another if, dimension to dying, isn't it? Yeah, um, so, so like every single enemy drops a static amount of uh, items, depending depending on what on what type it is. Um, Wait, uh, if, you, if you if you. Okay. Uh, Okay, if you are not at full power... Okay, very nice graves there. Yeah, if you're nice. not at full power, if you're not at full power, the enemies... Uh, some of the items the enemies drop will be... Um, uh, will be replaced by power items. So, if you are not at full power, you're actually losing point items. Yeah, you are losing point items, and you don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be doing that in a run like this, especially if you're playing against a player like Spore Yuzuki. I wonder if SPO will do the thing. I don't know if he's practiced it. Maybe. We'll see. He is, he is not doing the thing. Oh. He, his, his border activation was way too early. Oh, was it? Okay. I didn't quite see. Yeah, yeah I see it now. Basic, oh. Basically, basically, um, in order to do the thing, you have to activate it at a very certain time. Mm -hmm. And that's also dirt. Like, Crucially, it's during the final wave, mm -hmm. the Definitely last is. wave of the cycle, so that you basically can dash into the middle wave, and then it like deactivates right then and there. Mm -hmm. Very specific timing. Yeah, very specific it's... timing, because you need those invincibility frames if you're gonna get out. Okay, it's so very recent we're on development spell music two again. So why don't we talk about what's actually going on? In yeah, because we didn't get a chance because um, Yusuke might unfortunately died in the spell too. So yeah, it's the dolls again. So we're going to be killing the dolls and getting items out of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, some drop point names, some drop cherry, crucially as well. Crucially, some drop cherry. So, items. Um, Basically, um, what mm. the players will be doing on this spell is, as you said, they will be killing the dolls, they will be POCing to get the items, and also trying to manage Alice's health bar, because you want to make sure you also get the, you know, Alice cancel as well, you know, you want to get the spell bonus and the cancel and mm -hmm. all that. Um, what I'm curious about is, is, he probably is going to go for it, yeah. but are, are we going to get to see the, the death wave? I wonder. Thingy. I hope yeah. we see it now. I hope we see it now. So we, yeah. will. Maybe, we will. Maybe. We will. He said, he said forty-nine thousand two hundred forty plus there. Uh, yeah. So I think that may have been a late suicide. I don't know. That did look a bit. Yeah, that was yeah, that was, was a, that was a very yeah. late suicide. Yeah. He, he got the trick, but he didn't gain much from it. Yeah, but like the border just came out a little too late, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looked it looked like he only gained like one or two thousand cherry yeah. from that. Not a catastrophic loss, but a loss nonetheless. Mm -hmm. but SPO is on a SPO is on a decent run so far, but you know, there's a lot there's a long, long way to go yet. And we've got we've got the rest of Alice, but we've also got stage four to go through, don't we? Okay. So we stage um, four. Spring Kyoto Dolls is actually a lot more threatening. Um, just for basic survival, the spell isn't too bad. 
But in a score run, you have to do a lot of unfocus and stuff like that, so it's, it's a little really bit easy. scarier. Yeah, it's it, like it really easy to just get clipped by a bullet here. Yeah, we should talk just a tiny bit. Just this, let's just preface stage four here for a moment. Because stage four, stage four is one of the big stages in PCD, isn't it? One of the oh, two yeah, big absolutely. ones. Yeah, um, absolutely. So this belt right here um, is just setting up for stage four. Um, so stage four is going to start off with uh, bomb and border, and you're going to want to have around like forty-eight thousand cherry plus. Yeah. So um, this spell is just about. Getting, like, you can see um, SBO is actually doing focus shooting here because um, if you get too much cherry plus, you're not, you're going to get the border on the cancel and you're not going to be able to use it on um, stage right. four. Yeah. Okay, there um, we go. The, by the way, um, getting getting a border activation uh, after All right, spring stage four opener. Oh. All rise for stage four opener. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get, get and he failed it. Oh. oh no! No! It's a it's a fucking repeat of last year. Dude. It's a repeat of last year. Reversed. The rolls are reversed. The rolls are reversed because you there was like one run that Yusuke got last year where you like we made the first run Yusuke got to stage four he failed it. He like failed stage four opener immediately. Dude, I did jinx, didn't I? God damn it! I am going to depressingly yeah. munch on a cookie. Uh, I might do the same. Right, uh, getting a border after spring Kyoto dolls is actually a run ending mistake just because of the stage 4 opener. Yeah, the stage 4 opener is one of the biggest tricks in the run. It has such a massive score gain, you do not want to fail. Like, failing it is instant reset. Yeah. Alright, so now we can talk about stage 1. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about stage 1. So let's fucking go. Let's set up the frost columns battle. Like there's one about to come up here. All right, well, Yusuke's about to go first. Right. Here we go. Right. right. So uh, there's a little thing sadly, between PCB players, right? Yes. Where everybody. Sadly, 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 Street is not here to to um, uh, bully Spo for having a little problem. So, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on. I'm gonna do it instead on Street's behalf if he gets under 10k. Yeah. Okay. So what happened? What we have is okay. Let's see what he gets. Well, failed it. Well, try again. Uh, Yusuke with exactly 14,000. 14k is a very good frost columns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Although that's very consistent for Yusuke. Yeah, that's the thing. It, like, it's very good, it but really, Yusuke is also insanely consistent. It really... How he does it, I don't know. It, re it, really, it really does speak just how how long Yusuke has played this game and mm -hmm. just how good he is at spray bullet grazing. It really, really is. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, like a, there's, a, there's like a thing that goes on between PCV players, so Cerno's mid spell there is called Frost Columns, and whenever there's runs, everybody like, everybody sort of like races around on how good the Frost Columns is. <laughs> it's like, oh, you got four billion PCV, but your Frost Columns sucks. <laughs> Just a silly little thing that we have here. Uh, you know, you know. Um, uh, fun fact: I actually yeah. asked Street how the supers do frost columns because I wanted to get better at it, and he explained it. And then, what was Street's explanation? Street's explanation was literally just activate the border on the second wave instead of the first one. <laughs> okay then. But yeah. Okay. Let's try it again. I. Let's I, try I, again. I Come on. I didn't see what Spo got on his other Frost Columns events. I think it was about 10 and a half. Oh, uh, we should probably talk about um, Letty Spo. 9k, 9k, unacceptable. Oh, no. <laughs> right, nah, 9k right, isn't bad, come on. But, you know, we, we can. We'll bully on the streets behalf, alright? Dude, dude, it's dude, it's a low 9k. I, even I got more cherry on my, on my BB. Right, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We should we should explain before. exactly what uh, we're referring to. So, when you graze, you get when you graze from your body, you get cherry max, right? That's the yeah. thing, right? So, and the idea is, okay, how much cherry max do you gain during one border? Mm -hmm. And oh, um, nine k there. 
Yeah, we, uh, we should talk about table turning, because it's coming up. We should talk about table turning, yeah. We didn't bring it up at we all. We didn't bring it up at so all, far. yeah. Okay, so here we okay. go. So, yeah. um, there's, like, a little safe spot. You can you start your border at the start, like, and then you, like, hug, like, the left part of, like, Letty's head, and then get, like, a spawn graze. And then, like, this spell is, like, static, and, um, it basically depends on, like, which direction you make Letty move in. You can just memorize the entire thing and, um, go to certain areas to graze, um, the lasers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly right. And... and- I mean, me is someone that's also played PCB Red. Not, not for score, not for score, mind you. I don't know how these players do it, but the spell is just it all is, memorization. Yeah, work. it is all. It is a memorization spell. You just need to drag Letty the right way. Mm-hmm. It's really weird how that works. Like, oh, if you drag on the wrong way, then it's like totally different. Mm-hmm. It's not totally different, but you know, you know what I mean. You yes, know what I okay. mean, don't you? We have We haven't even talked about lingering cold either. We haven't talked about, we haven't talked about like anything in stage one because everything went there. We have 103 minutes. We have 103 so minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We got time. Okay. Oh, and there you can see SPO doing the EOSD the EOSD thing of moving into the corner to make sure the star items are worth more. Yes, exactly. I should I should explain about and the and uh, giving money hug. Rip. I should, oh, I should, I should explain about the safe spot. Um, so, it it is worth a lot. However, uh, it requires first of all that you that you enter Letty with at least 119 power, and second of all that you um, uh, enter her with two bombs, which is a fairly difficult route to do if you're just kind of not as good at these as these players. Yeah, even even getting 119 power, even getting the power requirement in stage one to do the, le- the stuff you need to do on Mighty is hard. That just speaks volumes about how about how good these two players are. 119 power is manageable, but um, sort of saving your bond until until Letty uh, instead of using it on Tierno, which uh, less advanced players would do. Um, then uh, just like the cherry requirement is really hard to hit is all without that. Yeah, it's really, really hard to hit. I wonder what SPO is going to get this time. More than 9k? I hope we can see the players start getting into the late game because there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. A in the lot late game. To talk like about. we had stage, we had one stage four attempt which failed immediately. So we'll get we'll get another one soon enough. I well, it was slightly better period. than last time. World Cup is a harsh environment. Yeah, World Cup is a harsh environment. This is like this is like inhospitable almost. Oh, and a death to Cerno rip. Cerno got it's a fine. revenge. It's happened. It's, it's fine. It's fine, dude. He. He had like 9.2k on that one. Yeah. Did stage Even four my, has been my, a bully so far? My my fucking 2.5 has a 9.7k on Frost Collins. 9.7. I'm literally better at Frost Collins than Spo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll see you play into a World Cup next year then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe TSG has said he's better than SPO. <laughs> Alright, should we should we see the two of them like play a match? What do we think, chat? Oh boy, I can't. Team commentators, can't. yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, <laughs> we'll definitely do well. I promise. Yo, let yo fucking TSG and me over to Spo and Yusuke. Let's go. Oh uh, no. <laughs> I, I wonder, <laughs> gee, I wonder, I wonder which team will get absolutely destroyed. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't played this game in four years. Have you not? Is it been that long? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I haven't played the game in four years, but you certainly know your stuff still. That's that's what's important. I here. mean, you don't you don't really forget. You don't really look. You never forget PCB, one of the the best scoring games in total. It's the showpiece category, and and always will be, I think, unless Jin comes up comes up like something better for 2019 or 20 or something. Which, you know, is po- it's, it's technically possible, you know, but he's got his work cut out to beat PCB. <laughs> I would say. So, we are now at 99 minutes left. 
got 99 minutes left, so we have less than 100 minutes to go. And this is... Yeah. Well, it's also the thing about PCB yeah. is that it, um, that's, that's it involves a, a lot of um, timing down and yeah. timing out. So the players will actually need a lot of time. Um, a PCB scoring credit can be about 50 minutes to an hour. So um, by the time either one of them finishes a credit, there will be like 50, 40 minutes left on the clock. Yeah, so. assuming this, these credit goes all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we so we should... Though. That is something we haven't talked about. We haven't... So last year we had Sakubi, but this year, you know, we've got a different shot. It's Raymuri. So there's a few differences, isn't there? Between Sakubi and Raymuri. Yeah. Uh, Raymuri is kind of seen as the baseline, baseline route. Um, because it's not a lot of resource usage, just enough so that uh, you don't lose any clear bonus. And, and then you clear with max lives, preferably. And then you just maximize the borders from there. The, all of the other shots, except Sakya B, um, will pretty much uh, look at Rainbow B's route and see, okay, which borders can I get? Which, which ones can't I get? Usually they can get most, if not all of them. But like basically what they do is, okay, what, where do I need to sacrifice resources to basically copy Rainbow B's route? That's, yeah, Rainbow B is the baseline. Yeah, that's Sakya the best of that. Sakya B, however, still has the same stage routes as Rainbow B. However, however, on bosses, she because of how her bombs work, she's actually able to sacrifice a lot more resources. She also gets one extra bomb per life. She gets four bombs. Yes, yeah, so that's the other thing. Remu is, is just part of the game. Remu gets three bombs per life, and Saki gets four. And those bombs, are, those Saki bombs are so much better for. Those so... Saki bombs are Saki B bombs. That we, we don't talk about Saki A's bomb, but Saki B's bomb. Uh, yeah, so Saki, much better Saki, for scoring. Saki, Saki B's bomb basically it cancels every single bullet on screen and in such a way that you always get maximum cherry yes. from them. And then and then what you can do what you can what you can do with that is milk the bosses way the hell more. And mm. because um, you get so much more cherry max, it basically outweighs the clear bonus because you can just get so much more score. Yeah. You can just get so much more score. From just using from just using yeah. Sakibi. The record for Sakibi Famously, is four billion, right? Just over four billion, and Rainbow B scores slightly less. You see, the the record is well, it's use case high score, it's three point six billion, yeah. right there. Although, yes, although, time is, it, yeah, go on. Recent, recently, with TWC practice and Yusuke playing Rainbow B for it, he actually only a few days ago was, it was actually playing ago, yeah. credits. Mm -hmm. He he was playing credits, and he had he actually had a probably mid 3.7 billion pace run, which unfortunately died at the at the very last hurdle. That's Resurrection Butterfly. Yeah, very sad. We'll, we'll, we'll get to Resurrection Butterfly, don't you worry. And he, and he, he, clo and he closed out the run with 3.60. Yeah, which is, it was re I was watching it. It was really quite sad. It was like, oh, dude, we'll it's going to be it, and then it just dies right at the end. <laughs> There's a lot to say. Yeah. There's a yes, lot. Yeah, there's 3.6 pace run with the Luffy playing like into stage 6. Again. Dear chat, you need to save us from this early game hell. You need to do a ritual. Yeah, we need right. To see All right. We need late to. Game. What are we going to do to get out of early game chat? All right, any suggestions? What do we think? While wow, Yusuke does, does the funny thing here. That's actually an interesting point. To bring up. So somebody in chat saying, I heard Luisa A gets the most borders. It does, sort of, but not really. So why don't we explain that? Mm -hmm. uh, she has she has the fastest cherry gain, however... We, well, hold on, we should, however... uh, we should explain a bit more detail here. So what TSG's mean by cherry gain is when you, when you shoot enemies, you get cherry plus, right? Marisa A, well, both Marisa shots, both Marisa shots get the fastest cherry gain from shooting, and I think Sakyo is the slowest, is that right? Yeah. Sakyo is the slowest, but Sakyo B makes up for it with her bomb. Mm -hmm. Sakyo B actually is about in the middle, 
Sakya A is bad, but Sakya B is in the middle. Yeah, Sakya A, Sakya a is not very good at scoring. Um, <laughs> unfortunately. Look, Sakya, right. Sakya B, one of the greatest shots in Toe. And Rainbow B also one of like a really strong shot as well, just overall. Oh, um yes? funny little thing. Um on this spell it's actually worth it to graze lasers. I don't think we've mentioned it yet, but lasers have a special grazing property where if you stay near a laser, you can continuously graze it. Oh yes, that is. We did uh, usually get stare death in the face there, what the hell? Did you see that? He just stared death in the face and was like, yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. No worries. It's all good. Yeah, even though you see Yusuke is not really able to do a whole ton of grazing here, a little bit at the end here, but... Grace the kunai. Yeah. Okay, again, intentional death from Yusuke there. Get this cherry, very nice. So then, can... Yeah, will we spin to stage 4? Let's do it, come on. I will Yusuke on to stage 4, chat, let's go. I will say though, Alice is actually my favorite boss fight in this game for scoring. I think she's actually a really underrated boss fight in general. I would agree, home. honestly, especially um, for she, scoring. She doesn't really have like the flashy spell bonus milks, but there's a lot of like nuance and complexities in her fight and a lot of like milks everywhere. I just think Alice is a really cool boss. Yeah, I agree for sure. Alice is a really cool boss for scoring. Yeah. <laughs> Alice is yeah. just good in general, um, I agree with that. Yeah. I'm, I, ha I haven't been able to experience it much myself yet because I'm only a scrubby 2.5 player, so I just kind of try and skip well, through Alice. Come on, 2.5 is not a bad score. Come on. Like, 2.5 is a good score. actually gets a lot um, cooler with Sakia B as well, but we won't be seeing yeah, yeah, that yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can watch, watch last year's match for that. Watch, watch, mm -hmm. yeah, watch last year's match. Last year's match is or, amazing. Or, yeah. or, or, download, or download one of these guys' replays. Yeah, that's nice. too. Mm -hmm. All right, setting oh, up. Gosh. What have you got? Please get the 12k. Please get the 12k. Let's go. All right, here we go. Okay. 629 into what exactly? 636. 636. Uh, not not a great one, sadly. 7k. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can go much higher than it, that. It, it, beggars can't be choosers. It's something. Yeah. Look. Look. It's, look. Look, we're not begging here, right? We've got two. We've got number one and number two PCB player playing for us today. Okay. Oh, can we really? Oh, that non-spell, by the way. Um. Oh wait, no, sorry. Is he gonna do it again? By the way. Oh no, I want to bring up the second non, um, because like we didn't uh bring it up earlier, but like it's kind of bugged, or maybe it's even intentionally coded that way. It doesn't even have I a health bar. No yeah, actually. Um, I'll, I'll bring it up again when this spills over. But let's it, see. Uh, let's actually, see if the thing. It actually okay, works. He's doing the end, indeed. Yeah, that's the that's the timing that's the to timing, do yeah. it. All right. Although depend, depending oh, on the go. orientation of the middle wave, Beautiful. he might. Have it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if the if the orientation if the orientation of the middle wave is bad, he'll back out. But yeah, because yeah. this spell is this spell is is it really is just random rotations. Okay, so yeah, um, this spell will actually end even if you don't shoot at it, like, or this non-spell will end, even though it has, like, a long timer, it's just weird. It's, I, I honestly don't know if it's intentional or not, I'm like, total question mark. Somebody asks in that in an interview, alright? Yeah, Maybe actually, he'll it actually, it actually works in the demo, so I think it's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I, I would, I would wait, I, uh, if it works in the demo, I would say it's a bug then. That's my guess. Probably. Yeah, this spell is honestly really fun. It's probably Alice's most fun spell. Yeah, this does look like a fun spell, honestly. Just for doing, just for getting up there, doing the pox, and also managing a health bar too. Also, just a very important part of the spell. I actually and find it really cool well. how in, um, like in these early Toho games, like the stage three bosses have like these like fairies and dolls and just things that can like help out be milked. Yeah, of course. Even in, I mean, even in yeah, mainly like, Kini has the familiars. Mm -hmm. All right, Yusuke, Yusuke actually has the proper setup now. Yes, he does. Gonna kill the top All right, intentional death. Go. And that looked late, but we'll see. Yeah, it was. Six, was actually yeah, decent. That's, all, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not amazing, okay. but it's decent. You know? Yo, what the hell was that? That was really good. <laughs> Holy shit. Yusuke moment. Yeah. 
That was a Yusuke moment right there, chat. Okay, can we please not yeah. get Spring Kyoto dolls again? Yeah, please not. I mean, at least this time he would only have one death. We'd only have one spell failed instead of two. Which two, yeah. one spell it's possible. Two spells failed kills it. Yep. Well, and another thing in general about this game, which you would have seen like at the end of last nine, is that it's also just important to make sure that like timing is done well when canceling boss attacks. I mean, that's a general thing in Toho, but. Um, Basically waiting for like optimal amount of bullets on screen before ending a boss attack to get as much cherry plus as possible out of the cancel. Yeah, that is one of the first things you'll learn when you do PC scoring is to time your cancels properly. Uh, I would I would say managing C plus, but uh, timing cancels That's part properly of that. is part oh, of that. Oh, great. Fantastic from Yusuke right there. Yeah. Don't even need to explain that, that's brilliant. Alright, so Yusuke coming up to stage four here. Are we gonna are we gonna see him do it? Are we gonna see him get out of stage four? At least get past the opener. Yep, yep. Um, shooting focused a bit on this, just to not overshoot. Yes, yeah. this this opener stage four. Opener. Which I imagine if you had to unfocus the entire way through this stupid oh, spell, I would hate honestly, it. that'd be yeah. annoying. Jesus, okay, yeah. here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Well, yeah. no, remember, we Yusuke will wait on the dialogue, because that's what he does. You know, we, get, we get another shot here. We soon. get another shot at because this is, this is, this is a hard trick. Alright, post also, your voice friends, chat. Also, 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 736,000 C max into stage 4. I think that's ahead of a square record. I can't remember. Is it? Well, we're about to find out. Alright then. All, All right, 52 rise. minutes into the match, we finally have stage 4. We finally well, have stage hopefully. 4. In a minute. Okay, here we go. Silence. Silence, please. Right. Bomb. Actually, we should actually talk during this to explain yeah, what's actually explain going it, on. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we did mention earlier that when you time down borders, you get that Cherry Max um, bonus. However, sometimes you will want to break your borders. And if, if, and only if, there are a lot of bullets on screen that would warrant getting a border really? right okay. after cancelling, you would actually want to break the border to get multiple borders because you can basically extend the duration of how much grazing during border you can do. Yeah. Um, which is very important on that section. Okay. Also, that bomb, really bomb was used to delay the start of this border. Um, yeah. Okay, so that was 736 into 865, so that's that's 130. That's actually low for Yusuke. Like, obvi obviously, 130,000 on the opener is extremely good, but it's, like, low for Yusuke standards. Yeah, like... He, he has a tendency to get, like, 150,000 on it. Yeah, how we, again, how Yusuke does it, who knows. Okay, so, so um... Another super graze coming up. Yeah, so um, these, uh, these uh, enemies, right um, they fire bullets that spread out. So what the players are going to want to do is they're going to want to graze high on the screen because by doing so, they can graze the bullets before they start folding out and they can just cleanly get all that cherry yeah, bags. Stage nice four in general is going to be full of super grazes everywhere. Um, this is a very important stage for scoring. You get hundreds and thousands of um, extra cherry max from it. Um, I mean, exactly. Right here, I mean, you're is... gonna see Yusuke leave some enemies alive so that he can manage his cherry plus to make sure that he can uh, start the border appropriately on 46, Lily. 46,000. Uh, he can still time it if he just unfocuses. Yeah. yeah. Again, so the, the standard routes for um, Lily was to break the border and just kind of like finish her off. However, Yusuke is going to time it down, which is the more risky but profitable thing to do because you get that cherry max 10k bonus. Um, this section here, um, it's really complicated, um, but there is a rhyme and a reason to it. Um, basically, um, a lot of these bullets are actually aimed at you, so it looks really scary, but there's a lot of like tap grazing. It's actually really hard to execute, though. It takes a lot of precise timing, understanding of the section, um, and this is another border chaining thing where you break the border and get more borders. Um, yeah. it, it's pretty big milk. Yeah, pretty big milk here. Yusuke is Yusuke's playing really well right now. Can I just say that? Yeah. He's playing really well. 
Exit stage four so far. Let me just we're, open this PNG page real quick. We're, we're, we're getting to the four fairy section. Yeah, we're getting to the four fairy section. Alright, so, uh, so let's go. Let's go on, on this section <laughs> here, um, with Reimu B is not like Saki B. She cannot handle the screen as well. So in order to make sure you can kill all four of these fairies, you have to do some really risky maneuvers. Um, it involves killing one fairy, going... Oh, he kind of messed up the timing, but you're supposed to kill the first fairy before it can fire anything. Unfortunately, Yusuke let it fire, so he's going to have to sacrifice a fairy there. And then right here, there's just going to be a bomb, and then um, an upcoming suicide but before that this border is going to graze these bullets they are aimed at you they're worth a lot um yusuke is going to go ahead and suicide here to set up for prism rivers yes prism rivers is another big boss fight in this game yep. mm -hmm. it's also a really long fight but there is a lot of cool stuff to talk about so yes, one that bill. is not a problem one bill so... into prism river is really strong from yusuke right now yeah, really strong. Mm -hmm. uh, he suicided there, obviously, to set up a border on the first non of the Lunas over here. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so last year, um, they were playing Sakya B, so we saw Merlin. This year, since they're playing uh, Remu, we're going to be seeing Lunasa as the opener because the character that you fight at the start of this boss is dependent on who you're playing. It is Lunasa if you are playing as Remu. Lyrica if you're playing as Mursa, and Merlin if you're playing as Sakya. Right, we're seeing Lunasa here. Lunasa fires these sorts of... fires these sorts of bubbles. What sort of... not really lines, but sort of spam, which sort of... which kind of spreads out over time, and Yusuke is going to misdirect it at the top of the screen here. You see him at the top there. Can I do it? Yo, Lunasa's portrait, it's gone. So Yusuke is actually oh, practicing this stage five. Yeah, um, this is another thing. signature part of Yusuke's play. He manages to, well, he doesn't manage to. He likes to practice the movements during the dialogue. Look, look at this. He's he's practicing one of the fucking hyper graces in stage five. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he is practicing no, stage pra five. Yeah, I recognize no, him. No, now. This is yeah. a spell one. This is spell one right now. Yeah, but he, he was he, he was, was doing stage yeah, five yeah. before. Yeah. yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. Yeah, SPL yeah, still so, in jail after failing that after failing that stage uh, four opener. We he's got, still in jail. Uh, so how this fight works is that um, there are two non spells exclusive to the sister that you start off with, and then you fight a spell card with all of them, where you get to choose who you fight in the middle of the fight. And score runs, I'm just gonna say it, you're always gonna go for Lyrica in the mid fight. Um, so let's talk about the let's talk about the stuff. spell here. Um, so first things first is just shooting unfocused to get that border, and then grazing these. Yeah, grazing these lines before they might like spread out, just so we can graze this as much as you can. This is super risky, also. Yes, yeah, it's very yes. risky. But risky, risky, risky stuff. That's what Yusuke does, all right? He just always goes for everything. Oh my God, Yusuke! Oh God! Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say PCB doesn't have any dodging. Yeah, don't say PCB you don't dodge, because my god, you certainly do. Oh, we'll get to that when we get to Yomu, but that's... that's yeah, we'll get to Yomu. We'll get to Yomu. Okay, so this is a very important thing to make sure that you get optimal cancels yeah. on, because Yusuke's going to want to make sure that he can get the borders for non-2. Yeah, non-2, another... some more grazing to be done here for sure. Yep. So he's going to, first of all, bomb at the proper timing. Mm -hmm. Cancel these so he gets a ton of C+. Yep. And, and off he goes. Order. Mm -hmm. Then go Very up nice. and then grace the outer parts of the rings. Very nice. And yep. then... Yep. Do it again. Bomb again. Mm -hmm. Bomb again for more Cherry+. Yep. yep. So That's now good. we're just setting up for spell 1. Yeah, because spell, one, gonna... spell 1 has an interesting thing going yeah. on, doesn't it? Gonna bomb this wave as well. Yeah, we need that. We need that border. <laughs> so spell one, yeah. they're gonna they spawn some music notes, and those music notes are very interesting, aren't they? Yeah, they they behave kind of like uh, curvy lasers in it that they can be graced multiple times, yes. and of course there there's a ton of stuff spawning at the same uh, time. And when they're yeah, trans oh. mm -hmm. uh. Okay, so this spell is um you Ooh. might think it's really easy because it's just uh, streaming. However, this is the spell card from hell because those. Um, environmental bullets, those red balls, are very obstructive. 
And um, it, you're in a score run, so you want to optimize as much grades as you can get. However, if those balls are just moving everywhere and blocking your path, it can be very risky to optimize your grades here. So this yeah. is a very dangerous spell card in scoring. Yeah, I'm actually, actually having actually, trouble like, with it right now, but I should get through. Actually, from uh, from personal experience, this like even just getting through the spell without getting hit, even even if you're skipping it, is really really like random and uh and it's, it's one of those spells which you just forget about but then when you get there and you die you just die to it over and over and like why am i failing this and it's just you don't yeah. underestimate okay so right, um, we're account. starting to see it in action now um so um the first spell was timed down um even though the player did not have a border at the end because spell bonus has a mechanic in this game where um if you time down spells get graze on them then you can increase your spell bonus, and the more cherry max that you have, the more spell bonus you actually get from the grazing. So it's kind of like formulaic. Yeah. Also, um, if you're wondering, those things still aim at you. So even though use case like moving around and grazing like the outer edges, um, because they still aim, he can go back down and just sidestep, even though they look weird. It is safe. Right. Yeah, it, it looks really scary, um... but it's not. <laughs> So I should also mention about the spell bonus. Um, the amount of the amount of bonus you get per grace bullet here, is it? actually proportional to your cherry. Yeah. All right, time for. Is Yusuke um, gonna go in the next this is Rosendorf yeah, or whatever is what the spell is called. Rosen, uh, was it Rosendorf or Rosendorf? I mean, the, it's, a, it's one of them. The, yeah. Like. The, the thing with Biss and Dwarf is that I don't think it's really worth it to go inside the circles as Reimu, it's like too oh, risky yeah. and uh, because with Sakya B you kind of break your right. borders on the spell, mm -hmm. but with Reimu B you obviously really do not want to do that. They yeah, really don't want to do that, Reimu B. The Yusuke is on a run right now. In yeah. Earn. Can I just point out that the enemy indicator is now in uh, taking part in uh, Yusuke's cherry? It's actually, I would say, about even with his record. Yeah, he's about even right now, I would think. But you know, so potential. Okay, so now it's we're getting pace. to the, the, the kind of breather spell. Oh this is probably the most uneventful late game spell. Um, but, yeah, this is I mean, kind of relaxing, you know? mm -hmm. it, there is still stuff going on. Um, basically, it's just shooting unfocused to try to get a border and then, like, you know, waiting for the border to finish and then shooting again and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're, sure. we're sort of neglecting spell here because Yusuke is in, in the late game, but oh, he, he is actually it. out of all. That's, that's, yes. not, that's not great. No, I no, didn't... Yusuke. Uh, that was not my fault, by the way. I was talking about spell. He's he's out of stage one. Oh god. Um, I think this is still a. Wait. What uh, even? Is... What's the play here? What is the play here? Well, yeah, I mean, I need well, to think about he, this. Can, he can st he can still do the super hard version of stage five, but it's like more strict now. Yeah. It is possible. Oh my god, Yusuke. I did not expect that dodge. I read something completely different. Okay, I think I think we're still in route. I think yeah. he'll be okay. I think. Yeah, because stage five, stage five is usually quite a. I would say. I'm gonna use the word formulaic, but that's not really the right. Yeah, word. stage five is um, it's not as flashy as the other stages, honestly. But it's still like there's still stuff going on. It's a very nuanced stage. Sorry. Um, this is mostly just an item collection stage, if I'm being completely honest here. But there are grazes, and you will see grazes. Yes, you will see grazes, don't worry. Yeah, if if not Ooh. for... If, by the way, if nice not for that... Spinning. Early, nice spinning, if yeah. Not, if not for the earlier um, border break, he would actually be even with his world record in terms of his. Yeah, intentional death, by the way. Let's be that clear. Yep, yep, this yep. is a... Okay, good. Okay. Border. He got, he got the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right, he's so, on route just barely. Um, all the point items are going to be worth a whole bunch because we're this late in the game. So you're going to start seeing that score jet up as um as the cash ins start coming in. Yeah, I'm coming in thick and fast now. Yep. Again, every POC. Look at that. There we go. 
That was just one um, POC. It's also important that the players, um, after, if you're not in a border, okay, so if you're in a border and it auto collects items, you'll get them at max value um, regardless of where you are on the screen. But if you're not in a border, you have to stay above the POC line to make sure that you can keep. Is that getting... intentional? It's no. not. No, no, no. No, that's, that's not mistake. intentional. Uh, I yeah, did like, not uh, look uh, intentional. I, got, I was about to say, hang on a minute. I think he got his order too late. Yeah, I think it was too late. Yeah, no, he's supposed yeah. to use iframes to get out of there. I... Um, anyway, as I was saying, um, like you'll see the players remain above the POC line um, as long as the items are appearing in yellow. Like then you know you got them at max value. Um, okay, so Yomu is here. Um, everyone already knows, but like you can like manipulate Yomu's non-spell to like move these things around. Yeah, um, it's actually important mm -hmm. in scoring because you need to have space to do these super grazes, and you want to be a little bit higher up on the screen so that you can get more bullets grazed. Um. Mm, really nice when you ski there. Such a shame about those two borders, though. Uh, blue waves targets. are aimed, really red strong. waves are aimed around you. Um, Yusuke was really yeah. on for like an insanely strong run. But this is still a really good for Yusuke right now. Alright, time for this spell. Time it's for this kind spell. Of a cool spell. Um, it's actually a lot cooler on lower difficulties where you can keep, kind of like keep grazing those things, but on Lunatic it, it still has that, like you still do the grazing, it's just a lot riskier and a lot less obvious. And yeah, most players skip this. Yes, yeah, but, but it, Yusuke, <laughs> no, he's not skipping this. You think Yusuke's gonna skip something in this? No, no, not a chance. Six. I don't order Yomu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we are about to approach a deceptively difficult um, super graze. Um, so remember the thing that Yusuke was practicing during the Prism River dialogue with like moving diagonally down right. Um, yeah, but yeah, we're about to see that here. <laughs> yeah, uh, this graze is going to look easy. It's going to look easy, but it is not easy. That's not because easy. Because it is not. It, it is not just about grazing. Right, it's about go. optimizing your graze. So the taps here need to be very precise in order to make sure that you're not losing out on precious graze. Remu is cursed of having a very small graze box, so. Um, if you're playing Reimu in this game, you have to really go all out to optimize them. It's not as punishing as Sakia, who has a better graze box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's difficult the thing. graze. Reimu has a small hitbox, right? That's her signature thing. But that gives also gives her a smaller graze box, so it's harder to graze with Reimu. All right. So this is the most. Um, oh, you. Oh, no. Oh, this is the most survival like. Like the most dodging oriented boss in this game. Yeah, and there's, um, and there's one spell which definitely emphasizes that. Although, even no. though it's very survival emphasized, there's like still multiple oh, ways of, uh, of routing your mood. There's, there's four border, five border, and the hardest one, which is six border. Six border is super precise. It, it requires entering with, uh, with two bombs. Uh, which means skipping a bomb on uh, stage 5, which means that you have to do a stage 5 stage but section. It's not com comfortable at all. We, we can assume that Yusuke is going to go for his exporter, considering he did can, skip yeah. the stage 5 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah for, for 6 border, you, you have to be extremely precise. Basically, all health you steal from Yomu has to be from an unfocused shot. And furthermore, you need to you need to activate a border on the hardest, arguably hardest spell in the game. Uh, it is for survival purposes. And and also, Cap is completely unfocused. Yeah, kind kind of insane. Just a and the bit. cancel and, timings yeah. need to be good as well for good cherry plays. Yeah. And you guys coming yeah. up with that spell right here. Here we go, right? Hell God. Oh, that's a good cancel. Okay, yeah, this spell is just nuts. <laughs> this spell is just nuts. Heavy, so heavy has, RNG it, spell. It, it has a gimmick where it like slows down, so you can use that slowdown. And he dies. That was a really no. rough. That wasn't even a rough wave. I, I wonder why he went there. It was really strange. Didn't even like, give enough chance. Damn. It's just one of those heat of the moment things. Yeah. Oh god, that was really nasty as well. 
Yeah, it, it has a slowdown mechanic, but I mean, it helps, but not as much as you'd want to think, because it's still really wally. So yeah, it's really, really wally RNG swell. So what's the play here now? Let's we'll see. Gonna get a border on this, obviously. Um, these these actually give a decent amount of grace if you're high up on the screen. Oh yeah, well, um, the way it worth works. It. Is that um, all those like balls are aimed around you, but then the knives are aimed at you. So you can just kind of like sit still and get a bunch of grays, and then like tap up and down to not die to the knives. Works on any difficulty, by the way. For those watching. Gonna do a bomb to get cherry plus. Do the EOSD corner movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and SPO resetting again. SPO having a rough time of it right now. We're halfway through the match right now, and. We've not, had a thing, we've not had one clear yet, but this is it. PCB is a tough game. It's also just long. It's also just a long game as well, yeah. This is, like I said, by far the longest category until... Even even over low case scoring, which is also really long. Like, you might think, oh, we're in stage 5, we're almost done. Well, no, no we're not even close the game to out done. Yet. We're <laughs> not even drag close. the time out a lot, so... Um, okay, so spell 2 is... Um, Kind of annoying actually it's basically spell one but not as hard um there's a lot of stuff going on in the environment so the players are gonna have to be very careful not to just get assassined i would uh, i would honestly draw i would honestly draw a parallel between this spell and uh chris and river's first spell because uh, yeah very similar you know, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Definitely. Basically, you, ha you have you have a bunch of bullshit RNG bullets, and you have uh, waves that are like occasionally aimed at you. But like, people tend to be a lot more scared. <gasps> really? Of that's what happens? What? Oh my god! Oh, that's, okay, just, that's 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 a... actually re that's actually extremely bad for the. Rest. That's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, he, well, he's basically losing a border now. Yeah, like there's no way you can do six border now. It's just not enough, chip, not enough cherry plus to deal with. But to just get it, it's just not enough. Yeah, it's like, but, yeah, the, the way that the DKOs work is that, um, is that like basically, if you, okay, let's let's just say, let's just say, okay, you don't park star items, but like once you cancel bullets, you're basically parking them. However. Well, no matter what. Oh my god, that was item, that was really rough. No, oh my god. No matter look no, at this. no matter the item type, if you die during the park, you just uh, drop them, and that includes star items, which is really brutal. Yeah, it's really, really not fun. And then, and then also you can't POC if you're not a full power. Yeah, so, which yeah, is why you really, have the bomb there. The good thing though is that at least, okay, so the stage 6 spam is like really versatile and it's easy to get back on route once you get to stage 6, so like, you know, it... Yeah, because stage 6, well, we said stage 4 was the big scoring stage, right? Stage 6 is also the big scoring stage in this game, isn't it? Yeah, because yes. can take Yuyuko. Yeah, because you fight Yuyuko, and Yuyuko has some very mm -hmm. interesting properties, which we'll get into. Mm -hmm. In due time, yeah. Which is coming up shortly. Um, yeah, once you skate, time this. I don't think he's gonna time this down for spell bonus, but we'll see. We'll see, yeah. I mean, it is still Yusuke. I mean, there's nothing to. We know how consistent Yusuke is. We know how consistent yeah, SPO is as well, even though your SPO still yeah. hasn't made it out of early game yet. Even even though I still haven't seen a 10k cross column from Spo. <laughs> you have one right at the start of the match, you just missed it. Uh, what? Well, what? Well, he just he just wanted to get one in early. Okay, and then... the timing down. He's timing down. Yeah, he's timing down. S six is coming, Jad. Dude, that was like really scary. Oh my god, Yusuke, please! Oh my god, he's Yusuke is going nuts. Even though Yusuke is going nuts, even though. This run is well. It's not a dead run, but it's not the run he want. Not the run he wanted for sure. Like what? I mean, it was such an unfortunate it was, it detail. Was even, it was it was even with this world record for yeah. quite a while. So like, this is still quite a good run. Mm -hmm. Just really unfortunate deaths on the yeah, on just really run. unfortunate deaths. He'll be he'll be feeling that one. But stage six, all right. 
Stage so, four is the big um, one. Stage six yeah. is the big one. All right. So like for um, survival, the stage portion of stage six is like the highlight. For scoring, the stage portion is just you get through it, and then the boss becomes the highlight. Mm -hmm. um, we're in scoring, so the stage portion itself, it has this crazy spam. However, in scoring, it's just item cash-in. It's not really that relevant. Um, it's just there. It's a really good way place to get Cherry Plus because there's so many bullets. Mm -hmm. It's um, a big, big scratching, though. Like, don't, don't. The, the, yeah, it's the, easy, the main dish is you, you go. Want yeah. Okay, you're about to see it here. I believe... Are we going to see it? It's a suicide a bomb. here, right? Or oh, it's a bomb. Yeah, it's a bomb. A bomb. It's a bomb immediately. And a border. Yep. And then... Um, and then let them all come Getting out. all the items, and then breaking the border, and then um, getting... Setting up for Yomu. Um, mm -hmm. Yomu has yeah. one last stand going on, and like the non-spill is going to be like the ones that you saw on stage 5. Mm -hmm. So the whole blue aimed at you, red aimed around you, go higher on the screen, and graze. You're going to see that here too. Except you can't misdirect these um, waves because they're actually very dangerous to misdirect on stage six, so you just let them fire at the bottom. But it doesn't get in the way of being able to do this graze, so it's not a big deal. It's and it's also more spread out. And what is this? That was that's Yusuke, that's Yusuke stuff, all right? That's you. <laughs> look, if we don't know, if we don't know, right? It's just Yusuke stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Micro optimization. Definitely from Yusuke, right there. So let's see. I mean, Yusuke, even though Yusuke did have a couple of mistakes, this is still in a really strong position. Yeah. Like, yeah. really, really strong position from Yusuke right now. I don't know what his exact pace is. Uh, but it's, mm, I would say I would say it's at least 3.3. Yeah, 3.3 is why I had in my head, too. Yeah. This, this spell, spell is, is entirely static. Not... Notable, except that you want to squeeze out a border. So, like, if you're not, if you're not doing good management, you're not gonna get the border on this spell. Which, but Yusuke is fine. Yusuke's got it. Um, it's just memorization. Like all the dodges are just um, the same. Hmm. Okay, so we'll likely see one, or we'll see a bomb. We'll see bombs on the. I don't know how many bombs, but we'll see a bomb on the opener of Yuko. Yeah, um, we'll see a bomb on the opener. Of Yuko. Will we though? Because um, mm -hmm. with the amount of optimization, with the amount of like optimization in his C plus management, Yusuke can do this without bombing. Oh, and I mean, yeah, probably can. That's val yeah. by all means. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so, um, so I Yuko mentioned... has one really important property, doesn't she? Yeah. That we need to we're, mention. We're, we're right thinking away. of the same thing. Yeah. So we mentioned earlier that like, oh, what stream? Panic, panic. Okay. All right, we're good. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so the other bosses would give you um, star items when you cleared their um, non spells uh, and spells and all that, but Yuko um, will give you cherry items. Mm -hmm. Which is so nice, and it means you can just get borders all over the place. Yes, and, and you it, want to be using it, it, those borders on you, Yeah. And it snaps right away on spell one. Yep. There we go. And you're yeah, not on two like this. And like, you, you, you're not getting that much graze on this non, but like the border bonus, um, uh, when you get a when you time out a border, you actually get a border bonus of score, like just raw score, yeah, and it's basically that, your cherry max times ten. Yeah. So here we and go. it's gonna be Starts higher. It's gonna be higher. Okay, so um, Yuko is basically grazing, milking the spell cards, getting as much score as possible. Yeah. This is a very punishing fight because if you get hit on a spell, you'll lose like tens and hundreds of millions of score. It's yeah. like a catastrophe. It, this this is... is a fight you don't want to mess up. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. so we said we said during Wily scoring that KK that KK is a big stage two sword scoring boss. This is the biggest stage two scoring boss by by a lot, even by by KK standards, a long, long way. I, mean, I would I would still say they are about on par. Are on par? But yeah, this I would say this one's more crazy than KK for sure. Of course, for the longest time, Yuko just sat alone at the top. It's like Yuko was the the final boss of scoring. If you're watching think of it Yuko's that way. fight in a score run is like watching a movie, like a full-fledged movie with action and drama and all that. It it's, really is. It's quite, quite an event. There's just so much going on. There, there's, 
There's just a lot of milks, lots of cool stuff. Yeah, it's very flashy. Cool and the next very, spell like, coming up is another big one. Like, if there's one analogy I can talk about with uh, PCB scoring, is that, like, yeah, there's so much going on, and that, like, it's still kind of uh, comfy in, in some masochistic ways, perhaps. Like, it's really crazy, but still comfy. Yeah, it's, it's very strange. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it really. It's like it's almost like you're in the zone. Like you've done and practiced this boss so much, you're just like, oh, it's just this again. You know? Okay, so USK is probably gonna go for the risky spell too, or the the alternate spell oh, too, gonna, which is on. harder. Um, All right, well, here we go. Get past this nod. Okay, so um, this is a really cool looking spell. Um, these butterflies dance. you can graze. Uh, this spell is basically completely a memorization. Uh, these bubbles are aimed at you and you can maneuver them in such a way so that you can keep spinning around Yuyuko. It's really cool, really clever, and it's worth quite a bit. It's not the biggest milk you'll see in this fight, but it's definitely a nice one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always the one I think of first, where I think, oh, this is one of the cool things you can do in Duel. My mind always yeah. comes to this. Yeah, so this strat, by the way, there's a, there's a safer strat that like starts on the other side, but gets less grace. Um, what I would say about this strat is that like it takes it takes a little bit of effort to learn, but once you learn it, it's like probably the most consistent way of doing the spell, even for survival. Yeah, even for survival, it's really strange that this is like the most consistent way. I mean, you can certainly do it consistently at the bottom. But it's it's strange that this is good. So they're really well done from Yusuke right there. Thirty one million. Wow. Thirty one. That's excellent. So we oh, haven't seen anything yet. Okay. So the so now we started getting into this mechanic which we mentioned before. So gra grazing during spells increases the spell card bonus, right? Yes. We're, we're going to start to see that quite a lot here. <laughs> Especially the next spell and the spell after. So yeah, um, so uh, this non spell here isn't too notable, but um, it it's very like complex memorization. So like these aren't like this isn't like some kind of RNG knife hell non spell. There's a rhyme and a reason to it. Yeah, it's just really not that obvious what it is. But it's one of these ones where once yeah. you've learned it and once you get it done, you'll never fail it again. Okay, so um, All right, so here we, we were go. talking about how lasers have like a property where you can kind of like follow them and like kind of milk them. So um, this spell card, these lasers are aimed at you, so you'll want to like sidestep and just optimize. However, you do have to get out of the way because of that like butterfly flower burst thing that happens. Um, and basically, um, it becomes like a repetitive motion of just grazing, moving out of the way, grazing, moving out of the way, managing the health bar, making sure that you're optimizing your graze while dashing through those blue balls. Yeah, so yeah. I want to pay, I want to bring oh, your attention okay. to the spell bonus, Excuse which is going up pre pretty fast right now. You know, we're at 64 already. I think TSG Say something. Yeah, go on, uh, So this, this spell, um, you also have to note that, like, of course, you are sidestepping because the yes. lasers are aimed. Uh, the thing is, though, if you sidestep too little, then you just die anyway. So, yeah, I would. Ninety-five. There. I think the the analogy that, or rather, the difficulty of that spell is not necessarily in executing it, but, but like once you start optimizing it, it yeah. starts to become even harder. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, yeah. See it in chat. Yeah, See it in chat. Okay, Hirokawa four. is incoming. Right? Hirokawa is incoming. And Hirokawa, this is where okay, the hot spell take, bonus hot thing hot take, really don't get started. Hot take? Hot take. Um, Ghost Butterfly is both harder and uh, more impressive than Hirokawa. Um, I think that is up to date. But Hirokawa gives you a bigger spell bonus, alright? You thought 95 mil was big? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go a bit bigger, you know? It's just a little bit, you know? Just, just yeah, a but, tiny yeah, bit. <laughs> is he gonna do the crazy Stop. opener? Let's see. Of course, of course. Of course he's doing the crazy opener. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. Okay, so this spell, this looks so scary. I mean, it is um, very precise. You gotta be really skilled to do this. But um, 
the the butterflies that aren't aimed at you are static and they have static gaps so like um it might not look it but there's actually enough room to fit and to sidestep and graze and all that um and butterflies actually have small hitboxes in this game and you can see that a lot in this spell yeah something something to note though is that um how how the butterflies come out is uh, dependent on how you go moves. So sometimes you have to you have to like make a much larger sidestep, and that's specifically if the butterfly is coming very low. Yes. Why is using this prepare for all that? So you know we're 100 mil now. The the spell yep. the spell bonus is now broken. You know, <laughs> which is beautiful. <laughs> 100, 110. 110. Excellent. Okay, so there's this spell is going to look like there's not much going on, but there actually is more than meets the eye. So mm -hmm. this health bar is massive, and and you know you can also shoot the fan and all that. You basically can go from zero to 50k cherry plus if you just shoot unfocused the entire time, which is the goal here to milk an extra border. And that property of uh, bullets turning into cherry items will allow you to get another border um, when you cancel this. Spell. Yeah. Um, uh, some shots struggle a lot with the with the extra border here, but with Rainbow B it's really lenient. Yeah, Rainbow B is it's pretty straightforward. Relatively. Oh my god, over the wall there. Yeah, that was scary. That, that was scary. Actually, Excellent management from Yusuke Not there. to die here as well, because you want the full power for Resurrection Butterfly. You absolutely do want the full power for Resurrection Butterfly. Resurrection Butterfly <laughs> is... For those that saw Wily scoring last weekend, why Resurrection Butterfly is is the linear creature of this game. And absolutely, I oh my god, that was terrifying. <gasps> no, are you serious? Why? I shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have said anything, you know. God damn it. Damn. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't call Resurrection Butterfly the linear motor car of this game. It's. Uh, it's it's basically the cutscene, except actually difficult. Yeah. Well, here we go. We don't well, have full we power at Resurrection Butterfly. Fun. Um, so how does this work without full power? So and, and, yeah, you have to gain it as fast as possible. Yeah. yeah. All right, and Yusuke's done that by the way. So what you're gonna see Yusuke doing here is, is dodge it like you know at the top. <laughs> you know, just a small, small detail. <laughs> yeah. Resurrection Butterfly is... And he breaks it final, to... The final, the final hurdle of this entire game. Can you see so, why now? Yeah, can you see why? Um, here's the thing about Resurrection Butterfly. Um, it The spell card bonus doesn't go down because it's a timeout spell. So you actually like get a lot more spell bonus than like proportional to your graze and like with other spells. So like a really good Resurrection Butterfly is going to get like 80, 90 mil or whatever. But... Not unfortunately, one. unfortunately, um, well, resurrection butterfly one. capping it, capping it is is difficult on its own. It's difficult on nerves. It's difficult to learn even a safe route. Yeah. and you know, of course, to top it all off, at the at the level that these players have to play at, uh, it's just they just make it infinitely more difficult 3. for 2? themselves. Three point three. Yeah. All right. Three point three. As you said. Extremely strong starts. Yeah, so even though an start. extremely strong start. Those, if those point, last yeah. two spells had been kept, it would have been 3.4. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. But yeah, good, GG. Strong start from Yusuke, you know, 90 minutes into the, the match. All right, so, Spo, please get a run. Spo, please, <laughs> please get, get a get run. Frost columns. Please get a good frost columns. But yeah, GG's, all right. What? <laughs> what is this? It's a, draw it's a drawing of a cat. And it's just the uh, the caption says the use case on. Can't believe use case a cat. Yeah, that's what and, I thought. Uh, Doraemon and, as and well. And, and Spo with the uh, and Spo with the nine um, K on cross columns again. again. <laughs> We're gonna bully Spo over this, okay? <laughs> I'm I'm actually I'm actually kind of uh, curious how many ten caves like ten or eleven caves I've missed. Just by paying all my attention to use. I think everybody's in good pay to use case. But yes, good start from well, more than a good start from use case. Sixty-four points. Artist use case on okay. Yeah. Good drawing. Oh, was it? Uh, 
Good drawing, Miss Fee. I thought it was Doraemon for a second. It looked like Doraemon. Doraemon, yeah. So, 50 minutes for Spool to go on the run here. And Spool, Spool's gonna right. go on the run. He's gonna go on the run. Alright. Alright, um, Lingering Cold. Uh, um, Lingering Boo is more like. Ooh, yeah, so you, you saw him. I, I can't believe it took us over an hour to mention this, but for Lingering Cold, the, the strat is to try and grace those stacks of teal bullets before they um, uh, spread out. I can't believe we expanded here. Dude, we almost sink. Almost. Close, but, you know, almost. Stage one, everybody. Hey, stage one is cool as well. But stage one is a cool stage in PCB, honestly. I mean, you have so many cool. I mean, you have frost columns, which is you know a given, like awesome. And then you have yeah. like, the Letty grazes as well, which are also awesome. And is this the best have... stage one in total scoring? Uh, is it? I don't know. On the barrel, I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't examined all of them up close. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking yeah, about myself. Well. Are, we, are we asking what the best stage one for scoring is? Yeah. TD like, or low K for sure. Yeah, T oh, yeah, TD is good. TD is yeah, good. Um, UFO is okay, I guess. SA is cancer. Um, TDC is alright. Alright, we're getting there, bro. Come on, 10k, let's go. I'll shoot the bullet you forever. Alright, um I'm mid 1.9. Hold on, let me let me check. Let me check. Alright. The, the the authority on low case says that low case stage one sucks, so confirm. Okay, yeah, low case stage one's terrible then. Lol. <laughs> Look if RB say if RB, you know, what the best low key player in the world by country mile is saying what stage one sucks, then well. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, so he, he got he got 9,400 there, and again, my 2.5 got 9,700, so I'm still better than Spell. If you got 10k at the start, though. Alright, these players are only going to get one more full run in with the time left, so this needs to be the run that counts. Or yeah. the run that they clear needs to be the one that counts. Yeah, it's yeah. the one that counts now. Like, no, no second run for SPO. Yusuke yeah. gets a little shot, but no I second hope. run for SPO. I hope, I hope Spell gets into the late game again. Yeah, I hope so too. It was really sad to see that death right at the start of stage 4. Well, not death, but border break, but same deal. It killed the run. Yeah. Again, that section is just too critical. You cannot fail it. You can certainly get to stage 4 and fail it and have another go, you know? You can certainly get to that. Yeah, so we discussed this earlier, mm -hmm. but you have, you have to save two bombs for Letty and enter with enough power. Yeah, First of all, for the power cancel, so more cherry items, but also so you can bomb the second non twice. Because mm -hmm, we need and that. Only then, yeah, only then can you get enough C plus for the save spot strategy. I don't know, I still was going for it. Here we go. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Let's go though. I, re I really, I really, I really, really want to learn how this works. <laughs> what? Do you not do it? No, because no, because it's like, it's like way too, um, it's like way too much to prepare for my level. Well, you did it for some reason, I but here we go. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Okay. It's just wrong. <laughs> When I'm talking about how this strat works, I mean specifically the curvy laser graces afterwards, mm -hmm. because uh, yeah, those are are an important part too for yeah, like really. Yeah, you want to be you want to be grazing those lasers. Those are where the big 
I mean, the safe spot's cool, but the big games, the big extra games come from grazing those Kirby lasers. So, SP1 to stage 2 now. You still, you still get like seven or 8,000 cherry from just the safe spot alone. So, Spool had three, 374k cherry max and 366 million score. Let's, let's, let's see what Yusuke and leave stage 1 with. Uh, in the meantime, I'll pull up his PND page. Yeah. And Yusuke's already bought, already beaten his uh, Cherry Max. So let's see if we can beat the, let's see if we can beat the raw score, right? Let's see if that's possible. So what did, what did he enter with? 374? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's about even with his PV. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Although, it's stage one, so... It is stage one. The, the, the situation can change on a dime. Oh, it definitely can. Yeah, also, um, let's pay attention to Yusuke one bit here, because this is another signature thing Yusuke does, practicing, like, sitting on the dialogue just to relax for a moment and practice. I mean, we have, the players have time to do that right now. But, you know, time, time will I would run say out they, I would say they don't, honestly. Yeah. I think we're actually getting in a critical moment that... Yeah, we really are. Uh, 379 for Yusuke. Almost like, 380. Another way that piece of E from personal experience is weird is that it's like, it's like kind of chill and also absolutely no chill at all, both at the same time. So just taking taking a few seconds breather on dialogues can can really help. It can definitely help. And this is the, again, this is the longest score game, right? This is the long. This is not no. It's not even just the longest score game. It's the longest category in total. Right? It's the longest category in total for scoring. You want you want you're gonna need to take a breather during this. Runs which last about fifty minutes, you can't you cannot be on that all the time. And playing optimally, it's just too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Occasionally you can handle it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have to be playing on your game there, especially if you're playing at this kind of level. It's Seho or C though, let's go. Like, I specifically. Here's, here's a story, right? I specifically mentioned. I specifically put no Seho music because I know Spill was going to do Seho music again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hmm, yeah. I'm going to put, like, you know, Magical Girl Crusade or something. I was like, dude, no, I can't because he's going to put it on stream and, like, listen to it right now, you know? Uh, fun, fun fact, um, for, the, for those who know of the uh, use case unlisted um, some of the best video for Sakia B, um, he, he actually, he actually, he actually like yeah, replaces the game music with Seho there as well. Really, does he? Yeah, but that, then, he, then, he, then he switched to MIDI for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Spo, however, still does Seho music. Yeah. I mean, look, Seho music is awesome, alright? One of some of Zin's best work, easily. But you know, you know, we can't can't turn down the UCK MIDI, alright? The MIDI is what makes UCK runs UCK runs, alright? It's it's not as iconic as Kana's MIDI. And I'm pretty sure it's like a pretty recent yeah. thing for him as well. I feel like every time I've watched UCK it's just all MIDI. But maybe that's just me. Relatively new person around here. Well, is 2018 new anymore? It's not I, that new. I, 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 I think I caught him live on Kukulu like a couple of years ago and he was still doing uh, WAV. I'm pretty sure. I'm um, this WAV. I watched the 3.64 Bill Run live a long time yeah. ago. Well, Anyone that? in Why? chat still remember that? Anyone in chat there for that stream? Alright then, raise your hands if you were there for it. I know Sakurai was. <laughs> old men of Toho. The old, old, the old soul players. I mean, honestly, right, at so that time, at that time, what, 3.64 was absolutely ridiculous. 
I mean, it's it's absolutely ridiculous even now. Yeah, so it's like even more insane back then. What year was that run? It was like on New Year's Eve. It was like between 2015 and 2016. Yeah, even then, like, wow. It shows you just how good UCK is, all right? And that was a Saki yeah. B. Of course, Rainbow B scores less, but... All right, Spo, go. All right, go, let's go, go, go. Spo. Dude, this is like almost sings. Not quite, but almost, you know? You know, it's close enough that we get this is like play, two players like playing at pretty much the same time now, you know? Definitely want to up with no. Wait, what? What's up? His a Ray Ruby record is from 2015. Wait. Am I an idiot? A professional commentary here, right? <laughs> I did not realize that was from 2015. Yeah, he. I've been he, exposed, he like, chat. What do I do? So, Yusuke, Yusuke um, uh, really optimized and expanded on Reimu B at first, and then after that, he picked up Saki Abi. And then Wait, he got did three you, points. Wait, Yusuke, Yusuke did die to Chen. What happened? Uh, was it during a spell? I can't tell. It was probably during the non, in which it, in which case it doesn't matter. He just has a bit more of a precise stage three to do. Uh, still, still unfortunate though. Yeah, surprise is surprise is keeping going on. All right. Don't a, get laser glitch. Don't get laser glitch, please. Yeah. Not now. Yeah, it can happen. I've, it's happened to me. Yeah, well, I hate it. You know. I will actually cry on stream. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Oh god, that was like a really rough one too. But okay, no laser glitch. Hey, it'll be, right. it'll be 25 fine. seconds to go, okay? Please no laser yeah. glitch. Of all the please, places, please not don't. on Total Wildcard. Please, please don't get cheated by Boonraku Bug. Yeah. The game actually cheating. It literally is just the game actually cheating. Imagine the game. Imagine games cheating. Oh my god. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, we're good. We made it. Okay, no stupidity. No silliness. Please. Dude, I thought he was gonna drop all the items for a second, but no, there we go. Wait, no, the path is getting weirdly blocked. No, what, what's going on? Okay. Okay, alright, got away with it. <gasps> no, that's not good. Wait, no, uh, okay, well, wait, no. workable. It's... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, okay, it's fine. right. It's not good, but it's workable. Uh, yeah. the, it is a sh awesome. shame about the 10k, yeah, yeah, the 10k cherry max. Not catastrophic, but it's, it's okay-ish, you know? A mis yeah, a misconception about PCV, by the way, is that, oh, if you break one board, it runs dead because you're off route. Uh, in reality, you can actually, like, usually, if you're, if you're good at managing your sleep plus, then usually you can gets back on track, but it's, it still costs you. Unless it's on Spring Kyoto Dolls, and then it's a catastrophe. Yeah, Spring yeah. Kyoto Dolls is on, a catastrophe. Okay. Yes, on Spring Kyoto Dolls it's a run-ending mistake, but uh, for most spots in the run, it's fine. Yeah, for most spots in the run, you're doing okay. Like, you know, you don't want to you don't want to die, but if you do die, it's, it's okay, you know? You know, you'll be all right. <laughs> exactly right. Backups are part of you know, the whole operation. Yeah. If you're a, if you're a player, especially at this level, you have you have backup plans for pretty much every part of the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I recall, like Spo had to do basically a backup run last year on his TWC. Or something like that. Like I remember something went wrong, and he like explained it during like the post match interview. I don't quite, I don't quite remember the exact details. Yeah, I don't remember happened. exactly, yeah. but yeah, there's some some backup thing, like really important backup thing had to happen. Yeah, and he managed to nail it, and he finished with a really strong run last year. But let's see if Spoke can finish with a strong run this year too. Three point three oh, yeah. is absolutely beatable for SPO. Um, the start of this spell, by the way, like where the players have been like starting at the bottom right, that's um that's safe. Like the fire just that that fairy fires around you, so 
it's yeah. kind of a cool sub optimization. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's safe. Just uh, or, a little bit high. Micro micro optimization, not sub optimization. Yeah. If it was sub optimal, it wouldn't. It would be oh, bad. Oh god, that so, was weird yeah. RNG. That was weird. that was weird RNG. Like that. Yeah. Made it through though. All right, Yusuke, don't get laser glitch, please. Oh, now we're in exit stage. No, All right, please get stage. the suicide yeah. timing down right this time. Or mm -hmm. the, yeah, please. Good. Dude, who Ooh, loves Seho? Okay. Who likes Seho World Cup? Should we have Seho World It's Cup? between like 45 and 44 seconds or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, intentional death. Yep. Okay, how much will he get? 8,000, that's, that's good. Pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good, good. yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, keep, it, keep in mind there's fewer bullets on this non than the first one. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. It really could happen, you know what? You know what, I, like I say, 3.32, that's a beatable score. For SVO, he's gonna have to play well, but it's a beatable score. Yeah, most mm. definitely. Yeah. Uh, both players can beat out if they play well enough. If they play well enough, then that's the thing, you gotta play well enough. 33 minutes left, okay? Well, that's. Oh, okay. that's, uh, that's, that's really bad. That's, speaking of spring cure dolls and mistakes. Well, the thing is, that's not that's not a run-ending mistake. Because well, he still yeah, has breaking the, the breaking the border would be run-ending. Breaking the border is a run-ender. It's dying? just gonna be awkward, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll, dying, it'll be okay. Dying is yeah. still bad. Because you you always get this full power clear anyway, mm -hmm. and yeah. he's just focus shoot. He's still alive though. Well, I mean, well, of course he's still alive. He's dying. It is what it yeah. is. Uh, and remember what I said earlier. Um, they have they have five extra lives, um, and they use all of them. them. And they use all of them, yeah. So so any death is is a mistake. So right here okay. we go. Let's feel back on the stage for opener. Yeah, finally. Finally, Please. right? Please, Espio, don't die immediately. Okay, I believe. Right here we go. I bet last time already. Come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. No, wait. Uh, yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Okay. Very nice. Pass. And almost. Just wait for that. Put it on. Okay, good. Still good. Not over yet. I mean, this final board is not really that hard. Yeah, but still, it's not over yet, you know? Right, very nice. We made it through. Okay, All right. Eight, okay, eight twenty-three. What did he enter with? Uh, I don't. I, I didn't see. <laughs> Chat, help. Yeah, we should have been. We should have been checking that. We should have been checking that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Yusuke. Yeah. Yusuke. Oh my God, he got stuck at the bottom there, but he got out. Oh my God. All right, Street was keeping track. The... Yeah. Thank you, Street. The Six fourth months. commentator. In the spirit. fourth commentator. Thank you, Street. The fourth commentator in spirit. Yeah. Okay. That's uh yeah, that's uh that's hundred and twenty eight thousand, which is a good intro. Yeah, that's a good intro. Yeah. Although for these player standards it may as well be average. Oh uh, yeah. But still an a an average run is still good enough for for a total world cup. Alright, yeah. Lily spin time. Yeah, it's time for lower spins. Oh, and, and, oh and yeah, um, those enemies don't have a collision hitbox, by the way, yeah. which is why players can just like move through them to PSC. Mm. Ooh, oh my god, that's always terrifying every time I look at it. Alright, uh, these players know it's what they're time, doing. Chad. Oh. Okay. It's time. Are we going to see border do. break or border timeout? Please uh... go for border timeout. Come on, you gotta go yeah. for the timeout. Come on, looks like, uh, looks like timeout. Looks like timeout to me. Gerardo breaks yep. it, would activate on the second wave. That was absolutely disgusting RNG. What the fuck was that? <laughs> um, what's 
the play here. Can uh, oh no! This is not good. This is not the good. Red wave. Late activation. Yeah. That's a rip. That's that's a loss or a loss. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot of score lost. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah, Spool got absolutely annihilated. Like, that was just. What could oh. you even do about that? You know, Willie, Willie does that. She gives, gives disgusting RNG sometimes. Music uh, is just like a unique way of doing this this section. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I've never that. seen that before. That's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that that route is. He spoke calls that route safer for him to just because uh, he wants to minimize his great items. Mm -hmm. And honestly, good strat. I would agree with that. Good idea. That's really creative routing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? That was such a sad death on Lily. Like, it was just disgusting, awful RNG that he couldn't do anything about. So, he's gonna skip the suicide here? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's gonna have to. I'm guessing he's reverting to old route. Or Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you should get stage 4 opener, by the way. Actually... Spool's one is very much not dead. Not yet. Alright. Yusuke starting with 736. Okay. Let's see what you, let's see yeah. what Yusuke can get what's, here. What's the what's the play here? Uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing he's gonna just uh just do the like standard on, basic Yusuke. pitch route up until up until the second mon mm -hmm. and then uh, and then just like bomb it twice. And yeah, that should put him back on track. Mm. Yeah, that should put him back on track. Yeah. Very good start. Did he got 101 he... Cherry Mac? 101k Cherry Max just from that. Yeah. Huh. Use game moment. That's a use game moment. <laughs> use game, you're out of your mind. My god, that was insane. So, so strong. Mm hmm. How is Yusuke so strong? How does he do it? You know? uh, I mean, Yusuke is in a very right. strong position right now. Spells. Alright, come on, he's gonna have to get a good one here. Alright, spell one. And Late right. activation. Yeah. But it's not a big deal because you're still grazing these. Yeah, you're guys. still grazing these, yeah. It's Space is to the wall, like it's nothing, using the iframes. <laughs> no problem at all. Please don't die. Please don't die. That would be so bad. Uh, yes! Orange is looking, yeah. yeah. Dude, Mino, 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 alright? Kasari's uh, not here right now. Are you Kasari in disguise? Like, what's going on here? You, you, you well, have to explain yourself. Quite the unfortunate turn of events. Yeah. He. Why? He, um, uh, he has. Um, from what I see, he has to do the um, uh, basic bitch route now. Yeah, he's gonna have to. There's no other way. Dude, everybody is cursed. Oh, that, is, that is so true. We're all just I'm cursed to ruin runs. Actually, surprised he didn't reset, but I guess just. Yeah, he re he really wants a run on the board, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the only thing. Can he even get to the end before that, though? Uh, I'm doubtful. Yeah, but... I don't think so. I think there's just not enough time. I guess I am a disciple of Gustaria, haven't I? And then I just pass that on to everybody else. It's spreading. What are we gonna what are we gonna do when ever whenever we just anyone says something? Alright. Just don't commentate. We'll just have silent world cup. Just have silent forever. world cup. Hey, no one will hey, ever die. Fucking Japan on um, uh, widely scoring in twenty twenty, let's go. Was it actually just a silent stream that time? Yeah. I can't believe no commentary is an evolution. Imagine that. 
Is this case one kind of death? Did he lose a border? Oh, did he mess up uh, post Lily again? Oh, they're both. Dude, Lily is. Lily's taking no prisoners today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see it now. His uh, cherry plus is way too high. I mean, I saw him make it past Lily, and then it was like, oh, he's fine, and then it, it wasn't fine. And... Yeah, this run's kinda not great. That's one of the sections you really don't want to lose a border on. Spoil and both lost a border on. Yeah, like, losing a border, or messing up the border route with stage 4 is probably the worst place to do it in. Yeah, de definitely stage 4 is the worst place to do it in, because it's kind of tricky to recover in stage 4, and there's lots of things that come one after the other in stage 4 as well. And there's just no opportunity to recover it and manage it without taking huge losses. Yeah, you just get recovered, but at, at what, what cost? cost? Yeah. Quite significant cost. Uh, according to streets, Yusuke lost 60k, or was it? Was it Yusuke or Sto? I mean, both kind of had a train right here. I mean, yeah, both kind of failed that section. In different ways. I mean, Spo just straight up died to the worst Lily RNG ever, and used to get with just the mess up after after managing to kill Lily, but then just the mess up after. Oh yeah. But yeah, his run is slightly worse than last time right now. It would, take, it would, take, worse, yeah. it would take a bit of effort for Yusuke to do better now. SPO you have cause... to remember the yeah. catastrophic RB failure, and then the penultimate failure, and the Yomu deaths. Like, Yusuke can improve upon some stuff. Yeah, credit, definitely. So. There's still room to improve here for Yusuke. Mm. Meanwhile, we have Spro, who is... He's on a he run has... of his own. That is... Yeah. He has to revert to a... The... a the, the, the basic stage 5, I think. Yeah, the yeah, ancient roots. Yeah, the, the ancient route that's like still good, but uh, uh, not as not, good. Not, not, it's not as good, and it, and probably not really that good past the three billion level. But you know, you got no choice. You got to do it. Yeah. Hey, at least we get to see the basic stage five route. Yeah, this is the, the route really that... one. This is the route that you would. I guess we'd start with if we were doing stage 5, if we were going to soar this game. Is that right, TSG? Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do something different to this, but um, this is basically what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to see some Mr. X here. Alright. Can't believe we're in the ending already. Yeah. If Spo no bombs the post section, he can still do 6 border Yomu, though. Hmm, yeah, that's something, at least. And like I said, just getting the border on its own is a big is a big gain, even though you don't do much grazing with it. Alright, let's see what SPO can do here on the mid spell. Doing this crazy grazing stuff. Which is really not <laughs> worth that much. I don't think he's gonna time it down. I don't think he's gonna time it down. He'll do the graze here for sure though. Like that's yeah, not that's totally free. You can do that. Timing this down is really risky. Yeah, incredibly risky timing this down. It's just a spell which can just wall you so hard. Still and it's really precise. And just clippy, awful micro dodging. Uh, is he going for it? He seems to be going he for seems it. Seems to be going oh. for it. All right, now let's do it then. Okay, let's do it. I mean, hey, go for it as long as you can back it up. Go go back it. it up, go for it. He's done it, but well, oh, okay, okay, he stopped yeah, there. He All right then. He, he went for. He, 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 he did a little bit. Yeah, he went for a bit. I didn't. At least he didn't feel that. That's something. All right. Uh, he, he lost a uh, share item though, so. Bomb list final, let's go. Okay, well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty fair. sure you can. With. Uh, 
Is he is he doing his usual route with like? Because like with this route, you can still six board a Yomu, mm -hmm. but uh, then what kind of route is he doing? Because like, okay, he it, it, it suppose old route, which still gains one border on the stage compared to the basic route. Um, he uh, he actually no bombs the um, first section, but uh, but then bombs there in that way, in that specific way that he did to still have two bombs for Yomu and then two right. uh, six borders, but. With one bomb, six borders becomes a lot tighter. If it even is possible. At least the really? one saving grace that <laughs> Espio right. has. Okay, well, hold on. Hell got sword. This is it. Let's go. Please I, I do don't die. I do wonder what he will do about it. He's just, I think he's, is he just going all in? I think he's just going all in. Oh my god! Okay, right. Dude, that was disgusting. This feels right, always disgusting, though. Like, what the hell? Order A-frame, skip a wave. Oh. Right, skip one bullet. <laughs> skip one bullet, yes. <laughs> Alright, please don't die. Please. Oh my god. Okay, right, there we go. That's one. Alright. Uh, oh, very good from SPO. Okay, Excellent. Good, good, good. Good, good, yeah, good. Sure. If there's one attack you do not want to um, uh, time down for the SCB, it's that one. It's that, yeah, it's don't. One, yeah. It's way too much RNG. It's just not consistent. Don't time it down. Yeah. Just get it. Just kill it. Get it done. Yeah, amazing cap from SPO. Just pure dodging from the SPO right there. Okay, so I think there's a lot of health bar. I think maybe six border is possible. It's like tight, but. Yeah. With the. Uh... Um... Yeah, it should be possible considering that he yeah. did the focus bomb beforehand. Yeah, just about. That's the other thing we didn't mention, which is a thing in this game, but doesn't really affect scoring a massive amount. Well, it, it does, I guess. The, the characters have different bombs if you're focused or unfocused. And there are <laughs> different situations where you use them. It generally doesn't affect scoring a massive amount, though. Yes, it does. <laughs> so how does it then? Uh, because um, sometimes you sometimes you want the bomb that just clears everything out quickly, and uh, but some but other times you want to have the bomb that that like lasts for longer and yeah. does better for timing. Like on um, stage six spam, you always use the focus bomb because it just lasts longer mm -hmm. for Raymer and for Raymer B anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Most. Uh, most most bombs are usually on the focus kind with uh, Rainbow B because it's just better at cancelling bullets. Although I think if, if I, I'm afraid to talk now, but um, if <laughs> Spo doesn't die, then we'll see a suicide on the stage six spin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the usual route. Um, yeah. Suicide to spam to get a power cancel. Okay, so now for. Now for what I like to call the street, the annoying stream as well. It's not that bad. It's usually. No. no. You get squished between the red stuff and the blue stuff, you know? It's, it's annoying. Alright, this is border number five. Mm -hmm. Alright, got that one. So all going yeah. well, he should get a sixth border during the final spell. Yeah. And that's a six border yeah. Yomu, which is excellent. Yeah, six border Yomu, as we said, is extremely precise. Yeah, and it's even more precise when you're down on spell caps like this, so excellent from... Excellent from SPO right there. Uh, does, does Yomu even draw uh, cherry items, though? Wait, that's the job cherry I items? Think. I thought she did. I don't... I don't, th I don't think bosses drop cherry items like oh, at all. I think. Even, yeah, then, even then, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at that. That C plus does look quite low. Um, that was my yeah, initial yeah. thought as well. I was like, she should get. I mean, with a with a with a uh, good cancel, he'll get the it. star items. The star items. Um. Wait. Oh well. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, that was uh, like that was a, that was a like, total question mark. Like, what happened there? There was just like a stray blue bullet. Did you just not see it? Maybe. 
That's my only death. guess. All right. Like the okay. To be fair, there's a backup. Yeah, there's so a yeah, backup. No, no, six border. Well, he did no, get it there. But... Yeah, he no, got it. Yeah, the six border. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, he got hands to it. So we'll just be seeing the bomb on the stage six opener. Yeah, we'll just be seeing the bomb on stage six opener. Yeah. So what kind of pace is this run on for? What do you think? Uh, let's see here. He has one four four. I'm gonna check his thing. Yeah. yeah he's sixty k behind his uh, PB. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Street Machino should be able to tell him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking, I'm I'm bad I'm bad at PCD paces. Say it's the PCD oh, player. Yeah. <laughs> how is the strawberry false though? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Like, how is a strawberry not a strawberry? So yeah, it'll a strawberry. be a seven life clear. Yeah, it'll be please. a seven life clear all going well. All going well, but you know, Yuko can happen. Yep. Yuko yeah. So, Street says 3.3 3 max. 3.3 3 max, so this it's, is really close cool to rescue right now. Yeah. I'm wondering if Yuko's fight is really long and there's 13 minutes. Uh, I honestly don't know. It could, it could be either way. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video just to see how long Yuko's fight is. Oh, are you gonna, are you gonna like, work at like this? Yeah, this I'm looking at Yusuke's run. <laughs> the classic. The classic. Okay. Yeah. You go, it's it's how long YouTube, is it? Though. It's... Yeah. It makes it easy, man. Okay, so... Also, also funny, funnily enough... Um... Okay, Yuko's fight is about 10 minutes. Yeah. I think so, he'll just yeah. barely have enough time, like, assuming he does it at pace. Assuming he doesn't fun, go too slowly. Funnily enough, Yusuke's extra world record is also on YouTube. Okay. Foreshadowing. Wait, I, I think... Yeah. yeah, we have extra on. We have PSV extra on Sunday. Wait, don't pause. Oh, just go for it. You, you can reset if go you... Come on, you gotta go for it now. It's time, alright? Don't wait in the dialogue, just get into it. Yeah, because he's positioning himself. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, he he yeah, knows, he knows right away. He's like, yeah, he I have knows, to go. He knows, he knows, he you knows. Know. Can the god gamer do it? Can the god gamer do it? Can SPO... Can SPO pull off this comeback? All right? This is actually really close. All right? Yeah. Well, bombing there for Cherry Plus. Yeah, that's Good intentional. Good choice, to be honest. Better than risking the border. Yeah, better than risking it. He's about to get on here. In a moment, there we go. I'm focusing through all this stuff. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah, he didn't have enough. Again, his, his C plus has just been wrecked, but now he's okay. And Yuko's very forgiving as well. Yeah, of course, Yuko cancels, just gives so... you. Yuko's just like, yo, here's, here's all these pink, pink items for you. Here you go, we've got all the loads of these. You have them all. So, really, yeah. it's, it's honestly. I've had to praise Dune for that design choice. That's really it's a good. It's great design choice. It just really makes the, it, it makes the stage six scoring into what it is. Right? Yeah. Another great use of the iframes. All right, Yusuke is on. Yusuke is on. Held up, sorry, by the way. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. That looks really wally. Oh my lord! How do you do that? <laughs> How, how does Yusuke do it? Yeah, that was a free wave. Uh, this will be Yusuke's list. And, oh, uh... Oh, oh, wait, less, what? I, I looked away for one sec. What the hell happened? You looked away for one second. That's what happened. No, oh, okay. We need to tell him what happened here. What happened? Did uh, he get bubbled? Broke a border. Did he uh, get bubbled? He, no, he, no he, he, like, broke the border because he, um, uh, he wanted to sort of spawn graze the, um, uh, the bullet waves, but then he hit a bullet, then he hit the wave itself itself oh, instead. Right. Alright, so Yusuke, Yusuke going in too hard, I think. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to get to see the, probably get to see the alternate spell 2, or the standard spell 2, rather. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess that's the standard spell 2. So 10 minutes left, everybody. 10 minutes left of reset time, okay? 
If oh, that's Spool... more than enough time to finish uh, yeah. Yuko. If, if, yeah, if Espio does make it to the end of Yuko right here, uh, without slowing down, he should be able I to mean... get a couple of... He should be able to What's... get a stage one reset in. There to slow. I mean, yeah, there's nothing really thing to slow down on. Yeah, anymore. that's the thing. Like, the you, know, you could pause and like rest for a moment. That's about it. You know? That's all you could really do. That's what I'm saying. You just have to be on it for these next ten minutes. Um, ESK Wait, Yomu slash? Not Wait, was it the Yomu slash? Don't tell me it was the Yomu slash. That would be yeah. so silly. Was it actually the Yomu slash? Uh, Did Yomu actually cut Yusuke? Is that what happened? No, no. Aww. She, she, she could, No, she cut the bubbles and then, uh, and then he tried to border Grace. As to... I got excited when Yomu said Yomu slash. <laughs> it would have been the silly, silliest death going, but you know, here we are. Yeah, that's such a beginner mistake as well. Okay, time for um time for knives. Spell three, yeah. Well spell three is next, so. The fun spell. My yeah. favorite spell of this stage. Is it your favorite spell? Yeah. I don't know what my favorite spell of this stage really is. I I have to think about it. I mean it I know everyone's favorite is fun. Resurrection Butterfly. But... Resurrection Butterfly is just such yeah. an amazing finale. It has such an amazing an amazing game and an amazing scoring category as well. I have my, my hipster opinion. I just really like Spell 3. It's just comfy and fun. Well, I wouldn't call it comfy, but it is fun. Oh, it's not comfy. Nothing ever comfy. Honestly, yeah. honestly right, big like, bonus. Let's see what we can do. Like, Illusion... Illusion Butterfly... No, go. is it Ghost Butterfly? Fuck, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> spell okay. 3. Spell 3. Let's go call it Spell 3. Alright. Yeah, spe spell three is fun to um, uh, execute, just not on nerves. Yeah, butterfly delusion. I'm yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, butterfly, butterfly, delusion. butterfly delusion. Butterfly delusion. Yeah. Alright, please don't die on uh, the final UCK. That'd be good. Don't, don't. You've already replicated spell in one instance here. Don't, don't do that again. You know, replicate, replicate the good parts, okay? Don't replicate the, don't replicate the bad parts. So this has been a great run, alright? This has been a great this has been a great match, alright? And oh, SPO was honestly true. this is honestly really close for SPO. It's really close. Yeah. He has to he has to do he has to nail everything though. He has to nail everything, and especially RB. Yeah, especially RB, he has to absolutely nail it. Yeah, it sounds spells a bit of a breather. Not much goes on on it, but you know, just, it's a welcome breather. Yeah, but you know, we can't fall asleep. That's the thing. Of course not. I no crazy yeah. opener from SVO, but that's fine. He doesn't need it. Hirokawa just makes me nervous to watch. Hirokawa is always nervous. The thing is, it just people just like, oh, it's just, you know, you just tap left four times, and then you do another big tap, and then you go do that again the other way. But no, this is way more precise than it looks. This is really, really hard. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a coward strat that does it like way lower, but it but it also also neither loses. neither of these players are gonna do that strat. Oh, yeah, because yeah, that that strat loses like 20, 30 mil. Yeah. In SCB, this just raises way the hell more. Look, we fulfilled the juke. We fulfilled the jinx quarter today already. Okay. We sure can't possibly that? fit in anymore. Are you sure about that? Yes. I'm telling you. But it's, it's, it's gonna be fine, alright? Uh, What's that? 104. Right, yeah. right really good. Oh, right, 104, nice. Okay. If Spoke train wrecks absolutely anywhere, I'm blaming you. Okay. See, I'm curious, if this doesn't the fail anything, can it actually beat the... Yeah, and that's the thing, the it's kind of, it's pretty, it's close. It's close. Like, it, it could go either way, honestly. Like, it's a it's a question mark, I'd say. But he needs to he but what is for sure is he needs to nail everything. Which means he needs to get the border here, which is fair living, and he needs to not die. Well Rainbow B is well. very forgiving on this yeah. because you get like well, like I said, he needs to not die. He could use key Okay, yeah. Street Street thinks it's three point four pace, so mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this could go either way. This could go either way. Yeah, this really could go either way. I do not know which way it's going to go. Let's find out together, shall we? Alright, so he's got the border. Alright, times it out. Alright, spell cap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, this is it, okay? This is it. Right then, it all comes down to this. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I want to see an RB capture in this match. So do I. Let's go. RB, please. RB, please. An infernal best map. Oh, okay. he's doing that, that was, risky... He's just going for it. There's nothing else to do. Just yes, go for it. Yeah. I mean, that's what you have to do at this level. I am yeah. I mean, look, physically uncomfortable place, watching this. I am so uncomfortable. Oh my god. This makes me feel so uncomfortable. Right. It hurts to watch seconds. this. It hurts it's to watch so this so much. He, get, he, got the he got the first board and down there. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Please, okay, Espio. Like please. Okay, goes through the red waves. And then hopefully... <laughs> Okay. Yep, use the uses the iframes again. That's two. Please, One more. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I can't watch. Alright, All right. ten seconds left. Here we go. Come on. Just one more activation. Yep. Go up and there's the border. Alright then. Okay. One more wave. Alright, final done. wave. No, not final yet, not wave. yet, not yet. Okay. Oh my he god, what a clutch RG. Alright, how much score? How much score? Much That's much the question. It looks like 3.3. How much score? <gasps> no way! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Oh Jesus. my really god! Wait, he can still do another credit, technically. Well, it has to go, like, now. Like, go, Espio, go! Okay, you go. Go! <laughs> dude, if, if, if not, if not no for the fucking way, death... No way, if, if, if not for the death on Kyoto dolls, he would've... He would've it would've been, been, you're exactly right! Yeah. Oh my god. But the thing is, Yusuke, Yusuke has a chance to get a better run here as well, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, that was so tense. Oh my god. Very good It's game. not over. Can... The thing is... The thing is, Yusuke kind of had a pretty not great Yugo fight in his run. I would say, like... I would say a good but not great. You know, there was there was some pretty significant mistakes in it. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here, alright? Dude, you can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. I did most of the oil work. Yusuke. I'm not writing the script here. Okay? Yeah, here's a key moment. That's the thing, alright? Yeah, and Yusuke knows this is his last run, so there you go. Spo TWC3, there you go. Alright, Spo, get in there. Quick. Yeah, Yusuke could definitely be 3.3 too. That's that much is very obvious. Yeah. The thing is, can he be the thing is, Yuko doesn't Yuko takes no prisoners, alright? It's also like Spo might just be exhausted. I mean this has been Yeah, Spo I would not I wouldn't, be surprised like, yeah, if Spo wouldn't. just says, Alright, I've had enough. I want him to keep going. He's got one minute. He's got 90 seconds to decide. I mean, you might as well, because runs do runs can die there with yeah, really easily. You might we'll as well try. See. Yeah, come on, Spore, start a run. Take it all the way to the end. Has you made any mistakes in this one? So uh, die yes, to Hell God Sword. Died to Hell God Sword. And no, border broke, held God's sword, and border broke in the stage four section. Yeah, stage four section. Here we go. Oh, he's doing it. All right, well, he's got one more shot. Let's go. Dude, could this be like the ab. This. I'm, I'm gonna. There's a, a super low chance of it happening, but this could be an absolute total grandstand finish. Oh, if I, Spole I, I, does it, get a run going right now. There's there's the scary, like. No, no, let's, let's think on the hype. Come on, yeah, come on, let's, let's just come on. You got a dream here at this point. Yeah. You got a dream here at this point. 30 seconds of reset time left. I think he'll get one shot at Frost. No, he's not going to get the Frost Columns. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, no, like, this is a... Uh... One run, and that's it. Right, he's got one credit. Mm -hmm. so yeah, please no early game chance. shenanigans. Alright. 
Please, no early game shenanigans. Now is not the time. Yeah. Okay. Actually coming out on, up on final run in 10 seconds. Yeah. For both players right now. I, I want to say realistically there might just be like a derp mistake somewhere. Yeah, that's that's, like, that's I, the realistic I, thing. I want to I wanna believe. Yeah, well, you go on. You have to want to believe. Right. Final run for both players now. Yep. So this is it. So this is it. It's your last chance, SPO, on Frost Columns. No matter what happens, they have to suck it up. Yep. What? That was even worse. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, no, oh, it's not well. gonna play that risky on the final credit. That's true. For that yeah. press call, like. But even so, yeah. he knows, like, okay, let's just not play risky. Let's just All do right. a safer run as I All can. Right. But butterfly delusion is coming up. Yeah, butterfly delusion is coming up. That's a final yeah. run, uh, frost columns right there. Would you say that as TSG? The final run was frost columns. I'll accept it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Street is mean. Look at him in chat. Yeah, you just gotta score 13 mil. It's not that hard. Yeah. Just 13 mil more than last time. You know, and well, Yusuke is currently on pace to beat his run, though, so. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. There's... That's the thing. Yusuke is on pace to beat his yeah. run right now. But, you know, and anything can I happen. I do hope that Yusuke gets his redemption for the last Yuko fight as well. Yeah, because the last Yuko fight was like a tragedy. It was really sad. What was it? Died to the penult. Failed RB. Those are the two things, yeah, that was it. Mm. Okay. That's Letty what? first spell passed, that's good. Yeah. Oh wait, it's not spell three, I'm I'm just like Yeah, spell two. <laughs> oh I just like didn't even process the name. I, uh... I said the wrong name. Oh, I whatever. Look, this is and, 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 for me right. it's this spell is the one, spell dancing. two, spell three, spell four, spell five, spell yeah. in RB. Yeah. I mean this is deadly dance, right? <laughs> yeah, this is deadly dance. This is deadly dance. Right, have we been at this for like 140 minutes? Yeah, dude. The, the, honestly, this 140 minutes has flown in. This has been such a great match yeah. to watch. PCB yeah, just this... sucks you in and just wait and just eats up all your time. Like this. Is this where the, the tables start turning? Uh -huh. I'm so clever. Huh? Uh, mm. I mean, I'm keeping an eye on Yusuke, but I'm also trying to keep an eye on Spill as well. Yeah. Because any mistake from Spill and then that's it, he's done. Well, yeah, because it's like extra intense. Because it's like. Wait a minute, last... hold on a second. Wasn't this the. Oh, he went... Wasn't. Hold on. Yusuke is right. He went... he went for the headset. Wait. Nah, he's gonna go for this. This is Mammal. Fine. Yeah, no problem. The tables are indeed spinning. <laughs> anyway. yeah. But yeah, wasn't yeah, this on Yusuke's run? Wasn't this the run that died to Chen? Or am I making that? Yeah. Up? This is the one yeah, that died is. to Chen. What the? Yeah, PCB is really long. Yeah. It's just how it goes. Yeah. All right, now for the Pog spell. I mean, they're all Pog spells. They're but... all good spells. Like, they're all awesome. Look at this goodness, like, come on. It's so how good. Can you, how can you do wrong with this? Yeah, yeah. We have a hand. Did you yeah, can all go wrong with PCB, okay? And of course, we got, we got Street in chat, keeping track of, keeping track of the race. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's no delusions here. This is a good run. Yeah, that was. I think it was really good rotational RNG yeah. on Yuko as well. Um, okay, so yeah, the thing about spell three is also is that like the spell like doesn't fire continuously at the start, so like there's some random rotation that can affect how you start the spell, and it can like affect how much graze you can actually get. It's mm -hmm. it's actually kind of annoying to deal with. She but... like uh, she like restarts the uh, rotation four times from the same spot, just faster every time, and then they be fun during the the fastest version. She keeps spinning around. Yeah. yeah, you can sort of see how the blue ghost got like spinning around a little bit. Yeah. Alright, you know what I'm gonna say? Don't fall asleep, Yusuke. On um, the greatest spell, the greatest attack in the game. Yeah. He's, um, at, he's uh, so he's on. He didn't die any extra times, so he just border broke, so he's actually on pace for an 8 life player. 
Yeah, this is like this is stronger than SPO's run right now. SPO is in stage two though. He's, he's you know, yes. get going through the alley game, going through the motions. I'm pretty sure like if everything goes well, he's kick can just beat the the run. Yeah. So. Okay. Hold on, let me just pull up the calculator real quick. Yeah. Gonna... Surely, surely. Two seven six four two minus. Three one five eight one. Uh, three thousand nine hundred grace on uh, butterfly Glution, That's really good. Is that really good? Damn, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now for Hirokawa. So SPO got one hundred and four mil on Hirokawa in his run. Let's see what Yusuke can do here. Yeah, thirty nine, thirty nine. That's insane. Is that insane? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like insane for Reimu. For Rainbow especially. Yeah, again, Rainbow with the smaller graze box. Just, just can't graze as many bullets. Just the way it is. For, for Rainbow. That's a one disadvantage. <laughs> Inside him just run around grazing all the bullets you want. 20 seconds, 80 mil? Getting there. Uh, let's see what he gets here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one ten. One ten. Dude, okay, much yeah. even better. Even better. Yeah, How is it possible? Consistent one tens from Yusuke. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, yeah, consistent. Yeah, right. last time too. This is the path to so, redemption. Yeah, this is the path to redemption. This is where Yusuke died the last time. And it'd be really cool to see this as well because the last time Yusuke managed to get two runs in in his match and his second one was actually worse. So So you know if he does better here, then that's like a that's a landmark moment for him as a player as personal moment as a player, I'm sure. Being able to do two runs in a row like this. Yeah, uh, last year he had some train wrecks, but now he's uh, kind of on a redemption arc. Yeah, oh, definitely on a redemption five. arc. Oh my god. Yeah, three point? Yeah, yeah I'm really, feeling three point it's getting, five. Oh my god, it's, it's really scary. Dense. It's getting. It's, yeah, okay, good. He got okay, out my god, that was but so Now close. it's scary again. Now it's. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be okay. The, the, the Zumizome, the fucking Zumizome is like. Very good. Absolutely right, then. terrifying every single time. It is. All right. right then. It all comes down to RB. It doesn't all come down to RB, but it all comes down to RB. Okay, let's do it. Here we are again. This time in MIDI. Let's go. This is what a Yusuke RB looks like, alright? I think they did the same route. They did the same route, but this is, you know. Yusuke has this sort of reputation as a player, you know, even amongst yeah. the Western circles yeah. here. Uh, for reference, he's been doing this since 2015. Uh, I mean, a safer version of this, but still do been doing this for, like, since 2015. Mm -hmm. And other players did not start adopting this uh, until, like, very recently. Yeah. The difference is, like, the spin around after the iframe thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this right here. Yeah, that's a different wow. for Reimu. At mm -hmm. least, like uh, in his in his 2015 world record, he uh, didn't do the spin around. But yeah, uh, final border. Ah. Please. Last wave. Couldn't really Please. get up. That's fine. Yeah. All right then, Yusuke. All right then. All so right. this is well being supposed to run, but what is the score? Game. Three point four. No, three point four. Three point high three point four. Almost 3.5! Almost! Yeah, yeah. Almost! Strong. Yeah, dude, that's. Is that. Dude, look at the PB! Suppose PB versus Use Kiss Run. Yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. Dude, what yeah, is right. it with the. What is it with the. Really close runs? Well, like the, the score's being really close. Like, what's going on here? Well played. Well played, well played. Yusuke. An ex extre extremely strong 3.32 start, and of course the extremely strong ending. All right, yeah. All All right, right Spool. then, Spool. Time to PB. Time no to PB. Start him on.
But yeah, well, well done. Well done, Yusuke. Uh, really well played. Definite really redemption well from last played. year because Yusuke kind yeah, of really... was that a higher score than what Yusuke got last year with Sakio B. Uh, mm, I think it's about the same. I don't remember what it was exactly. I don't remember. I th no, I think the Sakio B score was higher. Yeah, the Sakio B score was higher. Yeah, I was right. I was I was wrong. I was right. Whatever you, know, whatever you want, you know. What do you mean for the I score? No, or... I just raw score. Okay. Yeah, fair. Yeah, it's very possible for SPO right now, but, well, it's going to have to PB, pretty much. I don't remember the exact details, but last year was like a 3.5 versus a 3.6. It was like a high 3.6 and a high 3.5. Yeah, just yeah. PB, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's not without, it's not I'm out with the sure, realm like, of possibility right now. I'm pretty sure, like, that 3 billion was just, like, a bit of Grey's lost in RB or something, right? Like, maybe, I mean, it could have been. Mm -hmm. I think on one of the waves, like, he didn't, like, spin around or something. Yeah, he just didn't get up there. I think he was just like, okay, I'm just going to bail here and improve my score. You know, just take it. You know, good enough. Wait, something happened with the overlay? Oh, no, it's fine. That's just... Alright, Yuko's chilling. Yeah. I was like, damn, I was really exhausted. Really exhausting, that, that fight against you skate, you know? I'm gonna relax now. Alright, um, there we go. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really glad that S user managed to make yeah, it this far I'm really on, the, glad on the last credit. Yeah, it's really hard, like... Oh no! Like, wow, well, uh, uh, That really sucks. That yeah, he really bombed, sucks. He bombed, he bombed slightly too early, so yeah. his border was too early as well. Yeah. I don't think that's F, but it's very bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a loss of almost 20,000. 20,000 there. Uh, cherry plus. A yeah. uh, cherry max, yeah. Well, oh, is that it, Spo? I see Spo in chat saying, yeah. Kane. I'm going just enough. to continue. But yeah. All right. No, I right, then. Uh, SPO retires. G fucking Three. G. All right. Yusuke. Yusuke. 3.31 billion is still really, really strong. Yeah, you should. You should be very happy with yourself. Yeah, GG's, alright. Oh, um... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, what an amazing match. Like, it was so close. I was just hoping... I was hoping that, yeah. that your run, SVO, would get... would actually beat... Right then, yeah, there it is. Alright, quit go. out. GG. <laughs> so, Yusuke... Yusuke gets his revenge. Yusuke, not really revenge, but gets redemption. Manages to take back the top spot in PCB Olympic scoring, alright? With 3.49 billion. So close to 3.5, alright? So, so close. From Yusuke. Dude, what a run. Alright, what a run. Yeah. What a run from what SPO as well. It was so close to beating Yusuke's old run. That was like so exciting. I was like, is this going to win? Is this going to be, is this going to actually do it? It was that close. It was that close. You know that? Yeah. You know, that's, you know, even, even yeah, with uh, all that's happened, I hope we showed how great this game is. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, um, we yeah. have some matches coming up. Yeah, we have some matches. Sunday, tomorrow, you know? Tomorrow's pretty cool, right? DDC Extra. We, got, we have two extra matches for you tomorrow, right? It's fucking good, right? DDC Extra, all right? Feng, Feng I believe Feng played last year, right? And Ray, of course. Ray, of course, one of our players from last year. Not in this category, but switching to DDC Extra. This is going to be another Marisa B match, all right? This will be another Marisa B match, dude. DC EX is awesome, okay? Uh, so you're gonna see, it's... you know, the best. You're gonna see like the best bombing in history, okay? Like, you know, Marisa B. You know, th this is the Marisa B category. This is where like, Marisa B comes into her own, alright? 
What the? So heck? definitely be there for that. Oh, we're we having some problems. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Yeah. All right. Yo, what's up, SPO? How are you doing? SPO. He commented because I'm going to be there tomorrow morning. Mm. Oh, there we go. What's up? Um, yeah. how, are you, how are you doing, Spiel? What a what an excellent. GG's to you. What a great performance you had today. Right. So, obviously, if uh, everyone can tell, uh, uh, the two deaths in stage four are like literally the worst plays you can have in the game, except Yuko, I guess. Yes. So, and it's you know, kind of bad. If, mm -hmm. like, even I die to these two really big attacks, I still get 3.3. I'm pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, before a match starts, I just think, uh, I hope I can at least get a 3.3, 3, so... Yeah, you definitely did I that, so goal. well done. Yeah. Let me briefly interject. Look, PCB scoring isn't done. We've got, yeah. we've got PCB Extra, brand new category for us in Total World Cup, alright? Brand new category. Yeah. Universe is like too, too real massive at this stage. This is going to be a really cool one, alright? This is going to be a really cool one. This is a really cool stage, isn't it, SPO? Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, let, me, let me say in this way. So hmm. PCB Extra is really, really special in how the difficulty levels differ hugely between shot types. It's because Rainbow B has some huge potential. Like, basically, Rainbow B is the only shot type that can get a border in the opener. So that means she have to spend extra resources than other shots. And if you have um, watched the um, any extra runs, streams before, you will notice that at the end of the stage is like um, all these uh, rings and aim stuff. And you want mm. to activate the border there just like you do on um, on the main game stage 4 opener. So that one is pretty huge. However, Rimu B is the only shot type that will normally not have a bomb into this section, so she cannot do it. And players have to find really, really creative and insane ways to salvage that. Oh yeah, so some insane ways. I've seen the replays, they're really, really cool. Right, yeah, so that's cool. I'm not going to spoil the route. Um, yeah, don't spoil the map, it's cool. That you'll see uh, tomorrow in the match, if anyone there is brave enough to pull off the thing. Of yeah, course. I think Ina might be brave enough. I Ina think Ina might be brave enough. I, I don't really know. There's also uh, something I'm really not sure about how the, how the match score is designed. And it's just like I said, because Rainbow B scales so hugely on the stage, I just kind of feel like uh, with the current uh, TWC score scheme, it's m mostly just fixed, uh, fixed score differential for shot types. And mm -hmm. that seems to be hugely favoring non Rainbow B types because you just can't give up on the stage with Rainbow B. And once you're into the boss fight, score gains between shot types are like very little, except um, the only thing I can think of is that Rainbow B and Marissa A can get an extra border on final spell and on, on the Shikigami attack. So these are even like, keep in mind that an extra border in, sta in extra stage is not as much as in main game. It's only like 12 to 15 mil. So, uh, that's kind of a decider if you want to use another shot type in the match. I think as long as you can get a no miss, it will be pretty favorable position. Yeah, no miss is also very is one of the very important things in this stage too. Yeah. So yeah, DC yeah, extra. No Look, DC and extra. I think... Sorry, go on. Yeah. On. Um... There's something I, I forgot. I have to check the replays after this. Is that maybe I, I'm not sure because the different routes on stage portion has like different point item count and the point item count for the final extend is really strict. I I'm not even sure if you can get a final extend if you die once to the boss. 
So if, if that's the case, that means the one death is basically two. And, and the clear bonus in extra stage is even bigger than main game. So that will basically kill your run. Mm, yeah, it can definitely kill the run. Yeah. All right, we'll see how it plays out, I guess. So yeah, so yeah, we have a great we have a great Sunday f coming up for you, don't you? These are two two very different matches. All right, two very different matches for you tomorrow. One well early in the morning from one. You know, we get a bit of a break between them two, and that's good. I believe it's going to be Gustari hosting both of these. I believe so. We're going to get Gustari back. We haven't seen Gustari in a while, I think, on Tour World Cup this year. So we get this. We get a lovable. We get our lovable Frenchman back again to, to jinx all these runs, you know, as if we haven't had enough of that today. <laughs> but yeah, great match. Yep. Yeah, good, good luck, you know. Yeah. I don't good think luck, my know. time is good enough for the DDC extra match, so it will be like 3 a.m. for me. And anyways, oh. I, after I watch more streams, I really don't like Marissa B, and I <laughs> really hope we can see other shot types. Yeah, I hope we see other shot types that's too. That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen this year, but you know, maybe, maybe next time. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right then. Okay then. All right. See you then. So with that, all right. Thank you for thank you for your excellent play again, SPO, and well done to Yusuke for winning. PCB Olympic scoring. All right. It's one. The score is now one for one. The score is one for one. We're gonna have to have a. We're gonna have to have a decider next year. You know that. Yep. We're gonna have I to. I don't know if we are still going on this next year. I hope. Hope so. I hope we are going on next year. I want to make it happen next yeah. year. Yeah. I mean, if, if if we go again next year, I'm probably gonna pay, play something else because I, I think I will definitely get three point five before next year for sure. Mm. Oh so yeah, you definitely. Well, that that will yeah. conclude. Remo B for me. I'm not going to play like beyond not going any further. It's okay, just then. Uh, not so much interest. Fair <laughs> to enough. Just rather push other shot highs and yeah. Be yeah, like more two fun unusual play. shots would be really interesting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then. So, I said I that, was hope. I hope. I was hoping I can like show marissa b this time but unfortunately i don't have enough time i stuck in the early game too much <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah but maybe look uh, maybe i mean we had, we had a marissa b battle last year mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, that's true no, suck right. it, sorry whatever exactly, yeah <laughs> did imagine like a marissa b i like imagine like marissa a in pcb Olympic scoring next year that would be just I wouldn't say silly, but it would be very unusual, that's for sure. It, it's not that unusual, because you play yeah. exactly the same as Raymo B, except I think you uh, skip a suicide on, on the end of stage 4. And, mm -hmm. that's, at, and actually, that barely matters. That's only like, I think, less than 20 mil difference. Ah, okay. Um, but it's... It's actually really, really hard to balance the scores for Marissa A because it's basically asking the question, how much is it worth for a much, much more comfortable unfocused speed? Yeah, and it really is how much, is it, like, how much like, do you want to spend. Right now, as all the players are not Marissa mains, I will say it's around 200 mil. But if someone decides to main Marissa, I think that can be as close as like 100 instead. If somebody wants to do it, it could be you. If somebody wants to put as much time in Marissa as in other shot types, they can do that. Yeah, they I'm certainly could. Sure. All right, then. Indeed, right. three hours stream. All right. Yeah. We've had a good day today, haven't we? Yeah. We've had a great day, I think. This has been a great PCB match. I think this has been another amazing showcase of PCB Lunatic. For everybody, we had Rainbow B this time. We had Taki B last time, we had Rainbow B shown off. Like I said, we're going to have to do the, the other esoteric shot types next time, alright? Okay. But for now, alright? Well, thank you all for watching. We'll have DDC Extra and PCB Extra tomorrow. 
here on Tour World Cup 2022. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Don't miss them. All right. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Okay. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. See you soon. Hope to see you there. Yes, yes. Yeah.